Hello there, everybody, and welcome to number 18, episode number 18 of the Fuseboard Network podcast. This week, the show is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Get 50% off hosting by using the promo code FUSE4 at checkout. This offer expires at the end of this month, July 30th. With that said, I am one of your hosts, Dave McCauley, joined by these people, all these people. Let's start off with Brad. This is Moogle Master 102. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> I hate you. And we have Hector. I need new antlers. And Tyler. Hi. Oh my god, his mouth didn't even move when he said that. That was incredible. Oh my god. And Zio. Go Zio. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, yeah. and by the way, yeah, they skipped me, by the way. So, well, I said, I said no, Chris. No, no, we knew exactly what we were doing. No, 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 you did not say Chris. We're saving the best for last. We did say Chris, and then, and then Rattle's like, fuck you, and then yeah. all of a sudden we skipped And then we went Hector, awesome. I'm like, wait, where's Chris? Okay, fuck you. Well, we just didn't care. We just said, fuck you. Yeah. No, no, we're saving you the too. best for last. And we have Master <laughs> Fernand. <laughs> so these guys these guys know I'm going to be gone for half an hour. i got to get some stuff done. But I will be back. So Wait, we... wait, we knew what? that? You fucking knew. I was not you, told. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you never told, told us you're going to be right hour? back in half an hour. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I, I just wanted to surprise you all and spring it on you. Surprise! So, surprise! That's surprise! Fun. Yay! Oh, my God, <laughs> I love Zio's face. Oh my God! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so yeah, why don't you guys talk about uh, what you've been up to this week? Brad, start off with you, and I will be back. <laughs> Meh. Well, I've been, Meh. God damn it! I've been, I've been uh, basically. I went back to playing Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and after beating the game and recording it all, I actually regret ever LTing the game. Because that Why? game, Why? That game yeah. gets ridiculously repetitive and boring at the end. It's no. just like, it's just like I, I can't do this anymore. Uh, then, I don't know. I mean, even if yeah. it does, and I will admit it does, I still... I still like it for the music and the, 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 it's still pretty fun for me to, to sit through the game. Then again, RPGs have never been my strongest forte. So for someone that's an RPG expert, I guess that's it, that's what it is for you. I fucking love the music. I actually have the soundtrack. Um, and I have the soundtrack too. Yes, the, the boss battle music, the, the final boss especially, most epic fucking boss fight music you ever have in a video game, and I actually made it as epic as I could possible during that playthrough, and it was so hard to not talk about the fucking music while <laughs> I sit there, like, recording it. It's like, okay, well, we're in a boss fight here. Oh, wait, I need to talk about the music. <laughs> so, well, let's talk about the music. How amazing the music is. So yeah, um, um, I've been playing a lot of PlayStation All-Stars with Emmeth. Um, so and- how... Sony Smash Brothers is it good. Uh, PlayStation All Stars. Mm-hmm. It's. I find it to be a solid game. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty well. solid game. It's it's different. It's different from Smash Brothers. Like it plays like it, but it the gameplay mechanics of the game itself is a lot different than you think. Yeah, I know. It's just the, everyone likes to call it that. It's the idea is similar. It's in a way, yes. It's a, yeah. it's a clone, but it's done right. It's actually mm. pretty. It the the game is. Fucking I think there's some PlayStation characters they should have added, like a Croc and Ty. Uh, no, not apparently, Ty. I don't say Ty. Croc were... and Crash. Crash, Crash. And Spyro too. Crash and Spyro apparently are actually in the game. They just haven't bothered doing anything about it, like yet. There was lazy. That's why. What there was beta, the there was beta gameplay of them in the game, <laughs> and it was leaked in that. And Sony has not, like. Talk about it at they all. Just so about it. They just refuse to talk about it. They just refuse to talk about it. Um. It's like, so, how have you been doing, Chris? Oh, I've been doing this peachy, no, same old shit. But no, what I've been up to is working as always. Oh, wait, sorry, working whenever I can because I've been getting shit at shitty hours. But whatever. But besides that, I've been playing um. 
Uh, I've been out seeing uh, Pokemon Training Guard game. I've been playing OMG Pop with a bunch of my friends. And there's okay. a certain new project that he's coming and up. And there's with. a certain new project where some that people hot. that some people here will be very happy about. He even got he even got Mega Mike 15 to co-host. Yeah, I got Mega Mike 15 <laughs> to co-host in this. Dude, so it's what? Good. Yes. I got Mega Mike 15 to co-host in this. I will post it. I hope soon. it's what I think it is, Chris. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Mike. No promises. No promises. It might be. But anyways, besides that secret LP that you guys will see sometime soon, God, I don't know when. Um, I've been playing uh, Star Wars Old Republic. I've, I've been addicted to that game. I know everyone's not a, it's not a fan favorite game, but I, I, I love that game to, to know tomorrow. I don't know. If I was going to play an MMO at this point, I think it's going to be EVE. Yeah, I, I've been hearing all the other ones, but like I said, I I grew yeah. up. No, Star, I don't blame. I I grew up Star Wars, you know, and it, it's it's just a nice feeling, you know what? What I mean. Um, I also finished. Uh, I finally, cause I'm ter- I've learned I'm terrible in justice. Terrible. I finally beat the like the final uh, battle in the game, so I've unlocked. I still need all to get that things. game. I, yeah. still, uh, I still, I still, yeah, have to play that game. But I have to besides, download the newest DLC. By the, yeah, I got to get yeah. Microsoft points, but yeah. Martian Manhunter is going to be in the game. Yes. Yep. And a new uh, costume for uh, for Green Lantern. Lantern going off. Um, Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. That's it. Yeah. It's uh, the John Stewart skin. Yep. <laughs> the John Stewart skin. Yes. Apparently, apparently. Does it come with his voice? <laughs> yes, the one from oh. Justice. Yeah, I think yes. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I, I, I'm Sorry, glad they did that. Because if they could get the voice of Cyborg for Teen Titans, they could do John, it's on John my Stewart. Phone. Apparently, so they are going to have the skin for Zod from Superman 2. Uh, Isn't Zod already in it? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying He's a skin, skin for Zod. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, like from... Uh, also, um, Mr. Fancy Phone over the, uh, there. Martian Manhunter's yeah. voice actor is the same one from Justice League also. Yeah, so that's yeah. going to be nice. No, yeah, not. I like that, that they're getting all of this, the same voice. But like I said, I need to find a way of magically picking off Microsoft points because I, I forgot that I need to buy things, and I don't... God damn it. You have a job, Chris. Yeah, job that's only giving me nine hours a week. Yeah, I'm not joking, nine hours a week. I but... have nine and a half hours today. Yeah, exactly. So why you? Ah, I got nine hours next week. Okay, so my money's a little tight. Just save so. your pennies, Chris. Save your pennies. Send my yeah. My I'll mail you some pennies, Chris. Hey, hey, here you go. Dave I got five cents. Because Canada's five cents. gotten rid of the penny. I, but, yeah, shut up about besides, that. Just brag about it. Why aren't you? Besides that, same old bullshit. I, I, I think you get rid of the penny. So, penny uh, so who else wants to talk about their personal life? Hector, go ahead. Hector, <laughs> who is this Hector? I am okay. Moose. Moose. Moose Man, go. Moose Man, go. Oh, you can't name yourself Moose. Get the fuck out. Well, you know. <laughs> wait, 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 Hector. Hector, are you Hero 94 or Moose 94? I am both. I don't get it. <laughs> well, you're a I, Moose I Hero. I know, I know. Hero this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the issue, okay? So originally I was always Hero. But, like, my nickname since I was born has always been Moose. So an issue happened. I was like, you know, I told myself, oh, I'm in my YouTube. Oh, wait, wait. My YouTube says Moose94. That's completely wrong. It's supposed to be used to uh, <laughs> Hero94. See, that's, that's me being awesome. Tyler knows the feeling, right? Tyler knows the feeling. <laughs> Maybe you should 13. just call your start calling yourself Hero the Moose. Hero the Moose. I hero like Hero the Moose. Or Moose the Hero. Moose the Hero. Right, right, okay. the there we go. Correct. Whichever one you want to be referred to as yeah, an idol. Like, okay, I think, okay. I think I What's your preference for a nickname? Moose. Is it moose hero moose. or moose? It's moose. It's moose. moose I just kind of hero moose. was just kind of. Uh, I used hero as an email address like years ago, and oh, it was it was taken. And see, this it's actually like me being stupid because when I was like eight years old, I made an email. And I was like into like Gundam Wing, like big time. And then in my character, oh, Hero. That's, but, uh, okay. but me being stupid, I, I know Gundam that. Wing I've is spelled with two, not two R's. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's kind of like Hero. So it's kind of like Hero, not Hero. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not <laughs> Hiro. Hiro Yui. No, it's, it's Hero Yui. <laughs> so I was very improper there, and Good I just kind of stuck with it. And then when I made my Twitch, I made it Moose, so then now I'm here. So well, regardless, I am Hero the Moose. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us what you've been up to, buddy boy. Um, you know, work like always. I've been doing like driver training this week. It's fucking stupid. I can now drive like big old military vehicles though, so that's cool. Um, you driving that copper cab? That. <laughs> but um. Tank. Shit. Uh, besides that, like, maybe not. I can't drive tanks yet. That's a little. That's a little past me. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there eventually. Hold on. Uh, if I had the ability to drive a fucking tank, I'd make a vlog of it and like shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, I would. Uh, yesterday, we actually we drove these things called LMTVs, which are five-ton vehicles, and those were really cool. Um, Fuck Steel Battalion. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But uh, no, okay, back on track. Uh, this week, I've been playing like always a lot of League of Legends. I've been nerd. No! I, went, I, went from, I went from silver five to silver one. I'm gonna hit gold nerd. tomorrow. Uh, you yeah. know, being a nerd, playing Infinite Crisis. You know, you know some how we do it. Floor. Some killing floor with 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 the fuse four guys. Yeah. Um, I had to sleep because I had to work in the morning. You know, lots of streaming on my on my Twitch. Lots of streaming. Besides that, that's playing some magic. Magic Online. God damn it! You're doing Magic. I'm doing New Year. What the hell? What's going yeah. on? Yeah, no, I, I'm playing the I Superior game. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. No, it's just saying it's kind of weird how you're, you're, you wait, wait, hold on. You wait, you. God damn it! You are. Wait, am I the right way? No, fuck. I don't know. God damn it! I hate Do this things. way or actually that way. Wait, what? I don't know. But anyways, he's doing Magic. It's this God. way for you. So that way. The am I doing way. it right? The other, the other way. way. Anybody yeah. listening to the audio version of this podcast is going to be so fucking confused. Remember, guys, well, regardless. Yes, this way, this way, this way, this way, and maybe this way. Remember, remember, kids. Magic. It's, it's this way. Greater than Yu-Gi-Oh. Yo, no, it's, that's debatable. It's what? this way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? Who's yeah? That <laughs> way. Yeah, there you go. Who There's has a bigger? Two. Who has a bigger? Who has a bigger world event? It's this way. Um, Magic. um, we haven't had world. Oh, also, guys. Yet. Also, I think, I think, I think I should start. I should start streaming like this. Oh wait, shit. Hold on. Wait. I didn't realize they were off. <laughs> it was I'm trying try to do something cool, right? And I, I like, I was just like, you're fine. Uh, That's all you've been up to. Besides Magic. Is that everything else? Is that it? Um. I think that is really it. Oh, that's all right. Nice. Well, uh, Spence, what you been up to? Uh, mostly a lot of fucking work. I mean, it's been kind of a rough week on and off. A couple of sad things, a couple of happy things. Uh, but uh, after a long fuck, <laughs> Hector, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, he, he, yeah, see, that's awesome. Race. But um, like I was. Mine are just shitty headphones. I'm jealous of Hector. Yeah, I'm using earbuds. <laughs> that's so really cool shit. though. I like that. You look, you look like Mickey um, Mouse, Brad. Oh well, well, yeah! to anybody, uh, my old headphones that I was that I streamed that I did the podcast with last time broke because I'm an idiot. All you really need to do is connect this wire, like solder it back on. So. Oh boy. I'm just too lazy to do it. At least you. I gotta get new headsets, but go ahead, Tyler. Um, after a long good. nine and a half hour day of work, which is apparently more than Chris got this entire week because they don't give him a lot of. No, hours. no, 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 no. Next week, you, you got more hours than I have next week. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, that's go ironic too, because next week I'm having less hours because I have Saturday off. So. I'll, but, I'm um, I'm only working like Wednesday and Friday, but go ahead, keep moving. Uh, after this long day of work, uh, I left a video uploading and whatnot. But um, when I got home, yeah, that after, dream arena. After some BSing around, I found out that I reached 800 subscribers today. Yay! Yeah. You reached how many? Cool. I've been 800. It, it's been kind. Of, it's been kind of funny because whenever you wait for these milestones, as they're called, to to reach one, it that's the slowest part. And then once you reach it, it just starts going fast again until you get to the next milestone. Mm -hmm. Dude, like, I've been on 1,900 subs for almost a month now. I'm like, can I hour to 2,000, please? 
Dude, yeah, and then you go down, down to 1800 instead. Oh, that would account. suck so much. But, um, shout out, shout out, my Twitch than, channel. Other than a ton of work and be uh, getting oh, my uh, 800th sub today, uh, haven't been very busy. Just been looking around, figuring out the next few months. It's meh. It's not fun. <laughs> I've been dull. I'm tired. Leave me alone. Oh, actually, I'm about to dig into these for the first time in forever. Ooh, oh geez. man, them fucking cheese. I always preferred. No, uh, I always not preferred sponsored Doritos. By to Cheetos. Cheetos. If we get sponsored by Cheetos, though, I will shit my pants. <laughs> that would be amazing. That'd they're be free. That's, they're, big, they're, big, they're, big, they're big bucks. I'd be yeah, eating them. They're my favorite. But, uh, yeah. I, I still prefer Doritos, <laughs> though. Cheetos are the most oh. interesting thing in my life right now. So, Zio, you, you go ahead, Zio. What have, what have you been up to? Um, uh, well, I've been up to a couple things this week. Uh, as you know, uh, Mega Man Unlimited released not too long ago. And uh, I've been playing the heck out of that game. Uh, it was it was really hard if I played it, but uh, the second time during my recording session, uh, I haven't beaten I haven't beaten the game. I've recorded the rest of the game. You probably did it after the podcast, but uh, 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 after my recording session, I've had a much easier time with it, and it's uh, it's a lot more fun the second time going through. And so far, I really enjoy this game. This this honestly feels more like Mega Man Ten. Than the actual Mega Man 10, and I say, only say that plot-wise, not gameplay-wise. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's about the same, but plot-wise, uh, uh, it feels more like uh, it, the, the actual Mega Man 10, like the actual in between Mega Man to the Maverick uh, Mega Man X series, and you'll see why later on uh, if you're watching my Let's Play of it. But uh, I won't spoil. I won't spoil anything if you want to play it for yourself. Wasn't uh, it it's, it's a lot Mega of Man fun, 10? but it's really tough. Um, what were you saying? Yeah, Wasn't it originally... that na name and development Mega Man 10 until they made the re the other one? Yeah, yeah it, it was originally was going to be Mega, Mega, Mega Man 10. 10. Uh, they that, didn't know uh, that Capcom's Capcom like, hey, let's really make another Mega Man game. Mega Man 10. So that's hmm? why it's unlimited. Yeah, yeah, so that's why it's Mega Man Unlimited, because they uh, had to rework a title. I don't think Mega Man 10 was that bad. It looks fucking game. awesome, that's for sure. It's it's really awesome. I I love I love the stages and the music and the the, the weapons are really cool music too. It's friggin' awesome in that game. Yeah, uh, the the stages do get very long and drag on, especially for the first time you play it and you like, where's the checkpoint? But it, after you played it, it's not it's not as hard the second time. And it's a really good game. I, I I'm I'm glad. Uh, if I'm glad I have four years it took for this game to finally get released, it's uh, it, it was worth <laughs> my time. Play. Oh, uh, hey, hey Zio, should we tell the people about uh like the newest LP that you're gonna be doing? I I was getting I was getting to that. Yeah, the, they, they bring up that one story. You better bring up that one story. I'll bring it up. I'll okay, bring it good. up. I'll Go ahead. Bring it up. Go ahead. But uh. uh as Chris is alluding to, uh, there, something new coming to my channel is um, a race between me, Bloodsport, Rise of 51, and uh, Grim Reaper 163, and we're all doing a race of Super Mario 64. Um, I'll be handling all the edit editing and stuff like that, and uh, uh, one of the things that happened, because we, we recorded the first episode actually today, uh, but what happened was we made a blunder in recording... So we had to re-record the first episode, but and but in the but in the original recording, which we don't have anymore, during the race, uh, Grim Reaper one six three accidentally hit save and quit during the race. <laughs> it was the funniest thing to just because save and quit during. How the race. do you manage that? Because yeah, because we were rushing the race, man. You got to do. You got to play the game as fast as you can. No, Zio. There's why we think this is the most hilarious thing ever. You didn't. Now, the reason why this was hilarious is because yesterday when I was practicing, I um I was doing a bunch of speed running tricks that I didn't pull off during the race. But uh, I was doing a bunch of speed running tricks that had it was doing amazing. And then I and then I accidentally pressed save and quit, and it was the funniest thing that had happened all of yesterday. <laughs> It's just all of a sudden he. I heard, we are here Before like. Or everybody else. If, if, hold on, hold on. If anyone watches my channel, when Zio raged about uh, Hannah, Hannah, that rage, that was Zio rage like he's like, 
damn it! Get the, I hate saving it wasn't Bush. even. I wasn't even reason. raging as much as I was actually laughing at it. <laughs> I, 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 I myself found I that funny. We were all, uh, uh, all one of the users that's in the, the chat actually, Master Sean Forty Two, who was with us, he, he was laughing his ass off at it too. We were uh, all dying when you we did. We were all dying because he long just long. like laughed and was raging so <laughs> hard. All I can think yeah. of right now, Zio, is your uh, your Cheetah Man rage. <laughs> no, yeah. you gotta see Hina. Oh my god, no! I, it'd probably be around no. somewhere Dio, like that. That is Although, nothing. No, that, that is was not, a completely different race. No, Zio. No, I mean, um, Tyler. That is nothing to his Hina rage. No, that okay. that that. That, 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 that thing really pissed me off. That I don't know what happened. I, I swear know, to man, God, man. I wrote heat and I just see Hedda and I'm like, what the fuck? Why did I write Hedda? He it was, was just the worst no, thing. No, 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 I Super I, Mario Brothers is, was I, hilarious too. The hammer. I almost pulled a game from laughing so hard, like in uh, Maria's video. I almost like fell when that heated thing happened. Like, I was trying to stay recording, but I was going to fall <laughs> out of my chair, because he was... <laughs> I was mad, but... Uh, he was But pissed. yeah, besides, uh, besides Mega Man Unlimited and uh, Super Mario 64, I've been, um, been playing a bit of uh, Mighty Switch Force again, because uh, I stopped... Pl I, I had been on and off of the game, because there was this rage that kept kicking my ass. But I finally beat it, and now I'm, 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 now I'm, I'm finally going to be finish the game, because I've been... Uh, I haven't finished the game yet, as much as I like to advertise this game, because uh, I, I really do want to finish it, and um, and uh, other than that, I've been playing uh, Pokemon White 2, a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, we've been doing some online matches in Street Fighter, and uh, that's all I can really think about uh, as much as I've been doing anything recently. Oh, Zio, did you happen to get your capture card yet? Uh no, I did. I ordered a nature card. I haven't gotten it yet, but I actually got this uh a note that told me that uh, I got a um a package. So I might have to go up to the front desk and see if they delivered there, which is probably what they did. I'll do that tomorrow morning though. Oh yeah, talk about packages. I'm still waiting for my new headset because my snowball, as you said earlier. Talk about packages. Hey Brad. Oh no, we're not talking about that shit. <laughs> Yes. I want to see Mega Man X7. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't worry. That shit will be on the way. <laughs> I will totally that? do like a a, a, a a a when I when I get my computer capture card, I'll totally blind run a stream of that. Okay. This is the problem about the package originally. The UPS near my work shut down. Oh, that sucks. It oh. fucking shut down as I was going to mail it out. So the ten bucks that I had for shipping, fucking pointless. And I couldn't even save it because I didn't know what to do with the ten bucks. So I just gave it back to my mom. Or my grandma. But yeah, it was. I was like, I was pissed about that. I was like, what the fuck? Why can't I mail it out? And they're like, oh, we're shutting down our facility. I was like, fuck you guys. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. Like, I that hate mail sucks. nowadays. I really do. I hate I hate getting stuff shipped nowadays because it takes so, so I have to, long. I have to find out where the other UPS is and then I'll go ahead and mail it out because yeah. I'm actually getting paid uh, Monday. So, yeah. Ooh, payday! Woohoo! Payday's the best day. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What's going on? We're all drunk. But yeah, so I think I'll we finally look, got through what everybody's been doing. I'll definitely uh, look forward to that stream that you do. I was, I was thinking maybe you should just do a blind let's play. That'd be even fucking more hilarious. Uh, uh, you know what? Originally, Mega Man Unlimited was gonna be blind when I first recorded it, but then oh. I realized that was a really bad idea. <laughs> because yeah. I, yeah. I, because yeah. So Dang. during my entire time playing that game, I was dying so much, and I was like, no, this was not. Good. You, think, be a good idea. you think I made a video of me flying through it blind and I failed because I fucked up my jump. What a failure. Yeah, I, I like I, I you were gonna do a blind playthrough, weren't you? I was going to do a blind run and then I I, I had foot like footage of the game. And all it was me 
Yeah, all it was was me dying on, like, stupid-ass shit. So I just said, fuck it, I ain't doing this blind. I'm playing through the game. Yeah, that's the that, 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 that exact same thing. Chum, chum, I, I, I just, chum, I just chum, did not want to do that game. Chum, there are some chum, games that chum, I do chum, legitimately chum, do blind. Chum, like, chum. the Ninja Gaiden games, I actually do I actually do the Ninja Gaiden games that I play <laughs> blind. But um, oh. I probably will not do... Uh, <laughs> Well, I probably wouldn't be that game blind, that's for sure. I beat that in the broken portion, Hector. Oh, did you? I expect credit from all that work and effort that I'm doing for you, Zeke. <laughs> of course. Of course. I should I should totally send you fucking another game or something for you to stream. Like what? I don't know. I was thinking because um. There's a sale going on at Mediini Games, which uh-huh. is basically like they're selling recycled games for like super cheap. And I actually ended up picking up Pandora's Tower for twelve bucks, which is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. And I got Okami, which I still haven't really Good game. touched yet, but I will plan to. And then I found a copy of Sin and Punishment for guess how much? Twelve forty six. Five dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. Sin and Punishment. The I was version? close. I get to. Uh, I was on the dot. I, I was close. I was the closest. No, I said two dollars. And I said two dollars. I said two dollars. I win. I should totally send that over to you, Daniel. Hold on. I have a challenge for anybody. What? I will. I will mail anybody this game. If you play Ikaruga on hard mode. Blind run. What's Ikaruga? Oh my god. This you want to take the challenge? You want to take the challenge? Well, what's Are Ikaruga? It's a shooter on the GameCube? It's a shoot 'em up for the GameCube. Yeah, the, the shoot 'em up. On, it's like. like Is it, it's not. It, it's, a, it's a space shooter? It's a bullet it, hell shooter. It's, oh, it's, it's actually hard heard of it, as. Fuck. I could. I think I've I actually heard of it. I think I've because that game was so fucking ridiculously um, hard. I, I beat the game on I normal without losing, game. without using a continue. That's the best I've done. I think my girl loves those kind of games. I know she played a bunch of those. Like, kind cool, of Chris? Games. Cool? The closest thing I've played my to that, like, I can say, the closest thing I can say I've played to that is, uh, I want to be the guy games and Bashi, stuff like that. Like, see, I, I want to be the guy. It, it's frustrating, but if you keep doing it eventually, you're going to beat it. You know what I mean? On a hard mode of Ikaruga, if you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to die every yeah, single you're time. Just fucking bull. Over. Okay, it's so like, the way it works is it's, it's kind of a racist game, okay? And, and I say this because it, it has two modes. You can you press B to switch between black or white. Or I guess on the GameCube, it's X. But I'm used to playing on the Xbox Live Arcade. So you press B to put, switch to the black version, press B to switch to the right version. The enemies are in black and white. If you play on hard mode, whenever you kill an enemy, it drops orbs. The orbs are black. If you're in white mode, the black orbs kill you. If you're in white mode, the black orbs kill you. If you're white, you absorb the white ones, but then you switch to absorb the black ones. Uh, once you have a full meter, you can shoot it like a giant like missile barrage type deal. And basically, like the enemies just swarm you. It's it's insane. It's insane. Isn't there a game on the Dreamcast, basically, where you can actually like suck in the bullets and then fire it back at them? I can't remember. Ha ha, Zio, you're funny. You're <laughs> funny. Back him all the bullets in and fuck him. You're funny, Zio. <laughs> really um, funny. Oh, you're lucky. I don't have my po- my copy of Black White or Black Two. I have I have White and White Two. Oh, okay. All I have is this right now. Zio, 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 Zio. Why do you have the black version? I mean, the white versions. Uh, because. Uh, he's because racist. Wanted... That's why. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll explain. I wanted the white version because I wanted this Pokemon. Yeah, Zekrom better than Rush. And, and I got, saying. and I had, and I got this version because I had this version. So I got the I got the second version of the version I already had, and I got this version because oh, I wanted white that. White Charm is so bad. Black Charm is so much better. Okay, I'm stopped with my Pokemon during this. Actually, Pokemon you know, it's right all now. about... The, fuck, I don't know. If you're about to pull out a game of Bang and Pull, it's all about it. fairies. Have we lost sight of this? It's all about catching them all. Yeah, <laughs> 649. Yo, yo, oh, oh, oh. So guys, I figured out why 
why Ash is 10 in every single Pokemon episode. Because it's all a dream. No, no, no. Okay. So in the first season of Pokemon, Ash sees ho flying, right? That's not Ho, you dumbass. Yes, it is. I know. Yes, it I'm is. just being... I'm being oh, oh, what boys. video are you talking about? So, so in Ho's Pokemon description says, if you see him, it basically grants eternal happiness or whatever. What does Ash want to be happy? To try to be able to catch them all. If he gets old, he'll never be able to catch them all. He needs to stay 10 forever, guys. So he's in a coma. The end. Essentially, <laughs> he's in a coma. That magic power. That, I heard about really that. bad about the anime. They state that it, within the first season, it takes a year. They already they state that it takes a year for the first season. In fact, I think there's a special for Ash as a birthday. It's and he's still out the window now because uh, black and white just say, "Oh yeah." Ash by the way, maybe his birthday's on a leap year. You don't know. <laughs> oh, that would suck. <sighs> Your birthday's on a leap year. You know, you know what? What you I never understood. Every you know what years. I never understood. You're going to be a somehow, 15 year old. <laughs> somehow Pikachu is like never the strongest Pokemon. Oh God, is Sean here? God I just damn, want to make I a point. Want... Pikachu should be like level 200 right now. <laughs> is Sean here because he will rage about that? Oh boy. Yeah, Sean is actually in the chat right Raise now. Raise yourselves. Incoming ring. About how 10 is. Uh, it's it's a. Uh, Unlimited is better than is a better ten because ten was a uh, Capcom being scared or something. I don't know. I don't like ten. I don't be think Final Fantasy is that good of a game. No, t- ten is great. Uh, ten is a really good game. It was okay. I don't wrong. It was okay. But I, in my I, opinion, I, uh, I, I probably it, like it mean, Mega Man Unlimited a little bit more than ten plot wise. Gameplay wise, they're about the same for me. Oh wait, Mega Man ten? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about Final Fantasy X. Oh. Oh, when oh, it comes, to, when it comes to 10, oh, oh. 10 was okay. I feel like they should have taken more lover. chances. Final Fantasy X, they should have taken more chances game. considering it was on the next-gen system of that generation. Yeah, but they, then 10 2 came out and then they just went to shit. Uh, no, you know what, guys? You guys, <laughs> need to, you guys need to stop it because 10 2 may have had the worst storyline of all time, but it had the best combat system of any Final you Fantasy. You know what? You know what? Fuck Final Fantasy. Let's talk about Lufia. We were just actually me and Tyler are and Zio and everyone else were having this conversation about Lufia. Who cares about, about that Lufia? Game? It's a piece of shit game. Good day. It's a very underrated RPG series it is. for sure. And it's done by the same people who did Harvest Moon. I mean, can't go wrong with that. And another it's, good it's, RPG. Okay. Another good RPG is Rune Factory. We ever talk about is that? a great game. Yes, Rune Factory is awesome. You know, it, it's why don't we weird. ever talk about League of Legends, guys? <laughs> but because <laughs> Hector, only you and I like that. Hey, whoa, I, whoa, I play, whoa. but I don't. There play you go. Well, oh, Brad's not always here, so that's why like, it's yeah. usually just him and me. No, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Um, but I think I, we outnumber the people who don't like League right now. I uh, you are correct. I I never. It's not that I don't like League. I just don't. I haven't gotten into it or anything. So it's not that I don't like League, it's the fact that I don't like League. Yeah, no, I don't no, like League. Not, I, I'm not I, saying I, that. I just we haven't like League and we don't MMOs like League. are not my thing. Yeah, now I got like, you. I, I don't think it's a bad game or anything Even like that. Even the people that. who love League hate League. League. If yeah. you want to talk about a game I hate, we can talk about Shadow the Hedgehog, or we can uh, uh, Mario is Missing. You, Those okay. are games I hate. That was, that was weird. I got some weird-ass leg where Zio was like, I like Sean. I like Shadow the Hedgehog. That's all I heard. Yeah, he, yes, I heard you. Uh, oh. Zio, the thing is, you bash Shadow the Hedgehog, but you're openly going to play through Sonic 06. You know what? I would enjoy that game somehow more than I would Shadow <laughs> Brother, the Hedgehog. Brother, your priorities. I don't are know fun. how, but I would just enjoy that game. You more. gotta I, find I, that damn fourth Chaos Emerald. <laughs> guys, guys, guys! I'm Chris G right now. Oh my god, just, I'm just Chris no. G right now. You don't have long hair like I do. You can't do that shit. Brad, take off your hat. Let's see that hey, long flowing hair. Brad, Brad, you've seen you, have you seen oh long? You've never goodness. seen Brad's never oh, seen long hair. On. You need like three I'm more pairs of headphones. Here. Hold on. Hector, when you first went away and you showed us your buzz cut, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that man is beautiful. Oh, I can't do it. 
Rave headphones. That is awesome. That is really cool. What should yeah, I add? Yeah. Like and that, that mine and many requests, Zio is still working on his app. Yeah. Still working on this. Although my mom has really has, start, has gotten to the point where she's like, like she there, wants me to Chris cut Chief. it now. My mom doesn't want me to grow it anymore. She wants me to cut it. It's it's looking she's taller begging, than around. She's been begging me for like weeks now to cut it, and I'm like, no. But she said she said there's one thing. She said uh, if if I want my hair to grow, I should braid my hair. <laughs> get, no, get Zio, you get cornrows. Get cornrows. Get the now it's white, cornrows. like my banner. Like I, it's just wouldn't look right on me though. You know, you know how to be fancy? Pop your collars. Fucking pop them collars. Oh do. shit! You guys all have. Fuck. You they all have collars. I always wear this. Dude, <laughs> like, are you gonna go get me a collar? I'm gonna call this shit right. Now. Get one right now. I will go get me a collar shirt. Hey. Oh, you are wearing a collar, Chris. I didn't even notice. Hey. What's going on? Hector, Hector's so jealous that he's going to look cool. Oh, God, is he getting naked? No. Okay, now Hector doesn't have to do it. Anyway, um, the funny thing about Luffy... Okay, heck, you don't have to feel left out anymore. The funny thing about Luffy is that what really bugged me about the game is just the one of the sprites, and that's Aram. Aram had the weirdest fucking sprite. Like, you can see, oh, she has a nice, like, in the sprite, she has this cool armor, she has this awesome-looking shield and sword, and then you look at her face, and it's like, what the fuck? She has, like, she has a nose like Gruntilda the Witch from fucking Banjo. Well, she's supposed to be a witch, technically. Right there. Look at that shit. Look at her fucking nose. We came back with similar-looking shirts. Look at her fucking nose. Oh, my nose. God. You, you, uh, Hector? Hector! Zio, Zio, you, you look like Zio. We had Moose of Combined become Moose Lightning. You look like Zio. You look like Gary Coleman. I swear to God, as a kid, he, when, on that show, he wore a shirt just like that at least once. So. I guess we're gonna keep our collars pop today. Yeah, and then and then fucking Dave. And then Dave come will come back and, and he doesn't have a collar. Pop collar hashtag, hashtag swag. And swag. Oh god. <laughs> hashtag swag. If you weren't black, I would have slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even racist. It's just if I ever, whenever I see, this sounds racist, but whenever I see a white guy talking about swag, it just looks really stupid. I don't know. Is it? I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just my perception's all fucked up, but... Ugh. And, and, oh my god. But yeah, that's the only fucking sprite in the entire game that bugs me. Well, it's just think terrible. about it this way, Brad. This was the SNES. I know, but as a kid, when I looked at the sprite, I thought it was, you know, a normal chick. Like, you know, and then... When I grow up, I look at the sprite even more. I'm like, holy fuck, she's got a big nose. But the thing is, though, despite that, I mean, the game itself was uh, it was very unique. It wasn't the greatest RPG ever created, for sure. But you still was... talking about Lufia? Fuck yeah, that! I, it's, it's an I'm amazing get, RPG. Get Brad, guys Brad, 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 Brad. Oh, 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 not I've never, so... like the way they started. I've never seen it done before. Just starting off with like a final battle before the actual game starts. It's it's pretty interesting. It's set off on a new route, which I really like with Lufia, and it doesn't never game. Like this is not the first time they've done that. And it's, it's What is it for? What's Lufia for? Super Nintendo. Oh, it's okay. Super Nintendo. Oh wow, it's a Super Nintendo RPG? Yep. Damn, so and that's so many there's, damn RPGs. There's a DS game and it's really good from what I heard, but yeah, it plays isn't it, a lot. isn't it just a remake of the original? It's it's a remake of the original, but it plays like ease. There there's a DS version also. Yeah, I like to call it to, to the. It's Jack basically here. a remake of the Fasa. original, but it plays like ease. But it's in Fasa, you need to shut the flying shitting fuck up. White Kiram has a move set. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Sean, Sean and Chris are going to go at it from chat to picture. God damn it. <laughs> but, um, but here, here's what I was going to say real quick, though. Uh, it's funny. It's ironic. I discovered a lot of these games not because I had them on the SNES. Because I, I, I had an SNES, but I just didn't have a lot of money or anybody who would buy me uh, games. So... Uh, I actually, my dad helped me discover emulators at a young age, and it's because of that I, he just put all these random games on there that he thought were cool, and I'm like, and I played that and many other games. I'm like, holy shit, these games are like, good. like a, a, a platformer guy. So I play like all the platformers of the Super Nintendo. I the only RPG I played on Super Nintendo, regrettably, is a uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I didn't even play Super Mario RPG. Final Fantasy V, baby. Yes, oh, yeah. Final Fantasy V is amazing. And I don't care if it's a parody. It's still four. a fucking interesting game. Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy IV is amazing. But, but is, it every, is, it every, is it every Final Fantasy fan's final favorite Final Fantasy supposed to be six? Sh- no, it's, it's seven. No, but, Actually, oh, it's five. Five. No, no, five. it was five. seven. No, Mufasa, it was seven <laughs> two years ago. Now it's six all of a sudden. No, 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 no. It's never been seven. Seven's been the hipster choice. It's like, yeah, oh, it's... I'm a Final Fantasy fan. And my I favorite one's seven. seven. Oh, then, oh, then you, know you ask, here? oh, yeah, what Final Fantasy games have you played? Um, seven, seven. and seven. ten. <laughs> and ten. You know, like, oh, okay. uh, a friend of mine actually got me the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII because oh, I put it on my wish list because I was like, I, I, I put this on my, my wish list randomly. So they got me seven. So now I'm going to be playing through seven sometime in the future. See, <laughs> it, it, with no. my, with my, if I was rating Final Fantasy with my biased opinion, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite. But if I like throw everything out the window and I just like rate something. Four and six are hands down the best ones. Hector, I love you for. I'm saying. underrated. You know. I love you for saying I, Final I, Fantasy IX is your favorite. You can I say what's one of my favorite underrated ones? You can't, but you will anyways. I will anyway. So that, that'll be Final <laughs> yes. Fantasy VIII, my friend. Yeah. Well, I have, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm eight, sorry. I, well, like I got to stick Final five. Fantasy. Eight I gotta stick with five for my favorite. So I'm gonna I'm be. Actually, I'm actually going to say. I'm gonna be the hipster here. And I'm gonna say my favorite Final Fantasy is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up. <laughs> That's a good one. Taking That's taking good one. nothing away from how great Kingdom Hearts is, it is not fucking Final Fantasy. I don't care if Square developed it or not. It has uh, Final Fantasy characters in it. Okay. It's Final Fantasy Disney. If if you want to talk about my European okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Final Fantasy Disney is still Final Fantasy. Dio, like, like Mystic Quest you. is still Final Fantasy. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, if anyone wants to pick up Final Fantasy uh, 7 on Steam, right now it's on sale for $8.03. That's um, right, like kids. Steam $8.03. Sale. $8.03. Guys, this is your last... Well, this is close to your last chance. Go... To the Steam Summer Sale yeah, and buy shit. Oh shit! Oh, What's the daily two deals? Days I gotta go check out the daily deals. Daily deals are. My, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. No worries. Let's see. On t- the deals uh, end Monday, July twenty second. I have to say my. Oh shh! Sh- Assassin's Creed 3, 40 percent off. Oh shit! My favorite Final Fantasy is actually, believe it or not, it's like I love nine and all, and I love six. But I've really grown into really liking this underrated Final Fantasy, and that's Final Fantasy three. The Final Japanese Fantasy Final Fantasy 3. I fucking yeah. love that game. I I absolutely adore so, that. So, am I right to assume yeah. everyone hates Final Hallway 13? Hates what? Final, Final Hallway, Hallway 13? 13? I don't what is mind. that? Basically, Final you can't Fantasy move 13. anywhere but straight. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got you. No, I, I, I'm actually a fan of Final Fantasy Thirteen, and, I and I'm probably like Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh, well, well, you, can, played, you can join. I, you can join I, Mega Mike Fifteen and the only people. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I feel like people, people are, are douchebags because they just, they came in with a very bad mindset into the game. Um, I've played every Final Fantasy there is, and I've beat like eighty-five to ninety percent of all of them. Okay, so I, I got this. Thirteen is a great game. But it's not a game you go to play if you want to play a Final Fantasy game. That's the that point. Makes... It drifted too far from the main exactly. concept. That's, but, but that's something kind was... of the complaint of Paper Mario, Sticker Star. But see, it's this is a the great game, just not a great Paper Mario game. That's I what I say about that's Super what I say. Paper Mario. That's what I say about games in a series that completely drift off from what its original formula is. Look at Resident Super Evil 3. Super Paper Mario. 
But this is, this is what I'm saying though. Like when you're when you're willing Mario to go well. 13 games out in a fucking series, why and, keep it the same? You should want to change. You should want to expand what you can pull from. 13 and, had a great combat system. Okay, an example, is, an example of getting better. I have to say, is the Mario and Luigi series. They always get better with every game, if you ask me. Yeah. Yes, I, I, yes. I, you know what, though? To be honest, I still kind of like Mar the first one the most. But I but I definitely agree that I would say that Partners in Time and uh, Bowser's Inside Story is, be is better than the first one uh, uh, when it comes to fighting in the technical department. I'm looking forward to this, the Dream Team because it looks amazing oh, from what I've it's, seen. It's on the 3DS. There's so much new stuff they've added to it. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't – just for the fact that Katamari Luigi, that, that, that looks, like, looks like it's going to be awesome. I love how, uh, uh, and the switch to 3D graphics went perfectly. It still looks like the the, the 2D games, and that's so, that's how you do it right. Mm -hmm. If you wanna, if you wanna talk about games that are drifting off from its. Uh, uh, one thing, um, okay, hold on, just that, hold that thought, Brad. One oh. thing that Paper Mario Sticker Star does is, uh, honestly, I think Paper Mario Sticker Star is the best looking Paper Mario game. My opinion. It looks it, impressive it, it, for sure. I won't deny that. It, it they get the paper style of it just right, honestly. Better than it, it's the be, it's, it's a better it's better than the TTYD when I'd they were doing the paper it's, airplane. It's easier to do on the 3DS because of just how the 3D effects work. It's awesome. It's easy to make a paper type of thing work. Mm -hmm. I also love the stickers because some of them really like to exploit the paper parts of uh, like their scissors and stuff like that, and fans that blow them away. It's really awesome. Um, uh, I think anyway. though, oh, part of the appeal of Paper Mario <laughs> Star is visual appeal. All right, Brad, let me let me let you go on with your thought. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and then as soon as you start, I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off now. And <laughs> <laughs> I hope you go die in a burning fire. Go on, Brad. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to think about uh, games that have been drifting off from series, look at Resident Evil, for example. Resident Evil Six, definitely not like a big. You know, it's it's Resident definitely Evil not a Re it, like it doesn't god damn it, it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game. Like it's not yeah, a five. Resident Evil game, but it's a good action game. You, you mean like five? Well, if see, you, five, you, five still had Resident Evil aspects, though. Six yeah, just kind of six like threw everything out the window. Like and was like, all. let's fucking like, do it. Like I said, Resident Evil Six isn't. You know, a Resident Evil game, but it's a really good action game. So I, I feel like they could have made it a good Resident Evil game because the setting was a lot better. It's like oh, wait, it's not this part. hidden village. It's not the secret place. It's a it's uh, it's like the first one, like in a big city or something but like the that. Story, like, the story was so cliche that Capcom couldn't think of any like good ideas for the story that wasn't done before, and that's where they completely drift off. You just made a story that made absolutely no fucking sense, and it was so lackluster that like nobody would have actually wanted to play through the, all the campaigns just for the story. I uh, something Capcom did right with the Mega Man games, and it's ironic, but a lot of times their remakes are what they do best. Because let's look at Mega Man Powered Up. That was pretty awesome. I have to admit. Um, then there was also uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, which was an awesome uh, remake of the original, but they added more to it. I love when they add more to what's good, but they don't they don't fuck up what was already good. You know, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what they say. It, Pokemon does that. Like, uh, um, Fire Red and Leaf Green were great while adding more to it. Same thing exactly. with Soul Silver. They, they brought Heart in what Gold. they made so far and pasted it over the original concept. It was awesome. Except they added some things that were done but um no Pokemon hey, right now. That's only making it better. So, so I well, I wanted to bring something really, up though. But... Um especially to Chris who's like actually likes MMOs. To anybody out there who likes MMOs, uh since we're talking about Final Fantasy, have you guys heard about Final Fantasy fourteen being in beta right now? Yes, my yes. uncle has been playing that game like crazy, and he's been fucking like talking, telling me like how good it is and that. He's just well, basically, see, yeah, basically it's, it's, it's looking, it's looking really good. It's, um, they lost so much money when they scrapped the original version of fourteen and sold it. They lost so much money, but they they hit the reset button, and looking at it right now, it's actually looking really solid. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I just put in my application for the. You know, beta. I don't know some there's some other companies. I, 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 get a, hitting a reset button. A lot of companies will learn to do that. Like, yeah. 
Like, see, but at the same time, it's super risky because when you hit a reset button, what you're doing is you're saying, "I'm gonna spend all this money for a chance." If the, if 14 tanks, like, uh, they're losing so much money in that process. Well, you could be like Capcom and just released a new version of the same game. There's another version of Street Fighter 4 coming out now. Yep, Ultimate or Ultra. Ultra Street Fighter 4. No, wait, hold on. Let me. <clears throat> let me. Uh, it's actually Ultra Street Fighter 4. Oh wait. Ultra wait. Well, it's, it's actually. It's actually Ultra Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2013 version <laughs> Extreme Cross Tech. I, I just realized Killer Instinct is not made by Capcom. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Uh, what do you guys think of that? I, I like oh. it, actually. I just don't really like Capcom's approach in bringing poison into Street Fighter. I have no clue why, but... Uh, because she's in Street Fighter X Tekken. Uh, she's in like, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yeah. People are... Yeah. So she's technically in Street Fighter game, since for the most part, Cross Tekken plays like Street Fighter. Well, you gotta remember... Oh, they got Cody oh, and Guy in there. Poison, poison is also a trap. So people are actually okay. Think okay, okay. Brad, now. Brad, let's let's get this out of the way right now. Uh, what people, if people don't even know who Poison is, she's this, she's just this pink-haired chick. But in Japan, she's a uh, she's a transsexual, and in America, she's a transsexual. The only difference is in the American version, it is said that she is a post-op transsexual, so she is turned fully woman from man. But in Japan, she just tucks her business away while she fights. It's kind of like how. In Japan, uh, Vivian from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door which, was stated we went into was, was 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 um, speculated to be a woman, but even at the end of the Japanese version, she's confirmed as a female. Birdo is could also got the same uh, it, transsexual problem. It was weird problem. with Birdo though because I, it might have just been a translation problem. But in the you know what it is in the original Super Mario Bros. Two manual, it was a boy who thinks he's a woman or whatever. Yeah, one thing one thing I will say is. Rest in peace, Phelan. Uh, they yeah. nerfed. They nerfed oh, him not nerfed. so. Rest in peace. Long. Yeah, he, Phelan. He's, he's Phelan. been nerfed. Bruce to Lee. Shit. Bruce Lee. You know. Oh, Bruce Phelan. Yeah. 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 In, in Street I'm Fighter sure. Four um, Arcade Edition, he was so fucking good that one single combo would completely melt your health. Well, see, I would, I would don't think he was so fucking good. I would, I would, I would definitely say he's one of the top three characters, maybe top five. But like, I don't think th what they did was it. Okay, his records. Um, was his it as bad a nerf as they did to Sagat? Okay, let me put it this way. Well, Sagat's still pretty decent right now, actually. But um, because uh, like, okay. in Vanilla Street Fighter Four, Sagat was amazing. Oh, yeah, Sagat was the best character in Vanilla, like hands down. And then they nerfed him in in, uh, oh, no. in arcade oh, edition. No. And then they buffed him again in 2012. So that's why he's still okay right now. Okay. But um, Fei Long, uh, his records, which is are his dashing punches, they added so many. Like like you can punish the first attack of Rekka now. There's so many like startup frames now or uh, what is it La lag frames? And then it's it's no longer safe on block. It's just it's ridiculous how bad they nerfed it. Well, maybe um, they'll fix him. His frame tracking is terrible too. Do you think they'll fix him now? Fei Long. Fei Long, yeah. Well, this they'll... is this is how they're nerfing him going into Ultra. This is what what they're doing to him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He was already really good in Arcade Edition. Like he was really good. So they're nerfing yeah. him to crap. Well, um, uh, this, from what uh, I hear, there's four new. This, there was there's four new characters revealed for the five new character list and. Uh, all four of them are like uh, Hugo, Poison, um, uh, Elena, and um, Elena. Who was the last one? Relento. 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 I can't wait yeah. for Elena. I'm, I'm going to be playing Elena when I, I, I can uh, So there's a fifth character that's unknown, and I kind of want it to be Alex. The mayor. I the want mayor. Alex to come back. It I can't want be. I mean, my yeah, Hagger is a good choice too. It, it, it but won't be. Hagger's Guys. a good choice too, but Hagger's it never been in a Street Fighter game. Marvel, Marvel, Hagger's Marvel never been in a Street Fighter game. So I, I, I really want Alex to come back. Mm, guys, I, 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 I have this conversation with Alex for Dave. so long. Come back, because Alex, Go is, ahead, Alex is hands down my favorite character. It can't be Alex though. It can't be Alex. It, it, and it can't be Hagger. And let me tell you Hagger's why. Hagger's never been in. Okay, go ahead. Marvel vs. Capcom's Hagger has been in a fighting game though. 
Not in a Street Fighter no, game. Hager's been in Marvel. It, it's yeah, not Marvel. about Street Fighter games. The, what they said was, this guy has never been in a fighting game before. This is his fighting game debut. Whoever this is. Is that the word? They use that wording? They you use that it's wording. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's it, he, it, making his fighting ga game debut. That's okay, what it, then it said. can't be. You're right. It can't be the mayor. I, I, I said the same it thing. It can't be the mayor who's lying, who's laying some pipe. I was okay, talking do, to Dave. It and can't be Hacker. Do you think it's I'm a like, character that can't? I really want off. Alex to come back though. He's just been gone, and I, I they bring back like every fucking every other fucking Street Fighter no, Three Third Strike character. They but bring Q, <laughs> like Q. Um. Uh. What's his Sean. name? The ba Sean. There's so many characters I didn't bring in. Twelve Necro. Yeah, well, I, I mean, wanna... I mean, all the, all the, all the most popular. Uh, you're in. Like, you're not gonna like honestly Kuzio. tell me that like twelve and Q were the most popular. By from Q was value, pretty popular. I mean, from face value, most people will remember like Ibuki oh. and uh, Yang and Yun, Elena, Dudley. They'll always remember those characters, oh. Alex and Sean included. And those two have a cut back. But I really want to see Alex come back. I thought I got I thought what you guys thought because I was talking to Dave, like I said, and I said maybe it is Hagar because it's never been in the Street Fighter game. He's like, no, no. He's like, he st he stops him right there. He's like, it's uh, somebody who's never been in any fighting game. And apparently that's what they said. And I I could have sworn they said Street Fighter, but so they got to bring a character. Any fighting they got to be bringing a character from maybe a um a, a franchise similar. Because uh, oh, like, they, the the they have all these Final Fight characters. They have all these Final Fight characters in Street Fighter, so what? it's got to be think. from a game similar to you that. You got to think about it. Maybe, a maybe it's a game. character from a Capcom franchise that hasn't been in a fighting game yet. You They've already know. confirmed it's not or, Mega Man, apparently. So. Oh, no. Mega not. Man's been in, in, in um, Capcom. Marvel's, Marvel's, Marvel's Capcom. Uh, I, I besides, that, besides that, he's going to be in Smash. Yeah. I also meant like the uh, the didn't they have like the uh, the cover art Mega Man like the ugly oh the bad, bad box art guy? Mega Man yeah yeah what was he in huh what was he in like I know he was a player uh, Street character. Fighter Cross Tekken yeah that was only the PlayStation uh, it was only the PlayStation version along with Pac Man for some reason although I hear that the data for those characters are on the Xbox version oh of course they are they're just not gonna oh. give it to us yeah because. Fucking down on disc DLC is the biggest I, bullshit ever. I, I think I agree. On disc DLC is the big like Resident Evil Five. When I heard about the DLC for that game, I was extremely upset. Anything that they make you pay money for that's already on the disc is a load of crap. All I can say is that though, Ultimate Street Fighter Four, which I highly, which for this uh, for this character awful. they haven't revealed yet. I don't think we're gonna see it coming at all. I think we're gonna be completely. That's what I'm saying. I think oh, it's going to be a that, brand that, new character that we've never intending. even seen that's before. It. I think it's going to be a character we've never seen. If it's a character seen. that hasn't been in a street fight, that hasn't been in a street fight or a fighting game in general, it's going to be somebody that's surprising. A debut, maybe it's a debut of a new Street Fighter that's character. That's what I'm saying. It could know. be yeah. just a brand new character, just like just like when um God, I can't even think of a um just Akan, like when Street, Akan, you know street Fighter Four came out. Or not Super Street? Yeah, Super Street Fighter Four with Hakan. Well, uh, and 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 an old, I mean, and in uh, and an arcade edition when they released Evil Ryu and uh, and fucking Oni. Oni. There we go. Like J Jury and Hakan have never like were original characters. Like they, they were yeah, never. Brand new. Yeah. So that's what probably what they're gonna do with Ultra Street Fighter Four is that they're gonna have an like entirely new character, uh, probably to kind of. Attract, you know, people to playing that character. You never know. It's, it really depends what they're gonna do. And if it's a character from another franchise, that's gonna be a big surprise to me. But aside from that, I'm more than happy to see Elena and Hugo and. Mm, you know, yeah. I, I, why are they? Why are they not bringing back freaking Yikes. I want to see him return. Like they might make an. He's, an, he's one of my favorite characters from Third. Strike. And the only time he came back was in Tatsunoku, and uh, Ta Tatsunoku is just a, 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 a not as good technically Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I, I like Tatsunoku, not. but yeah, I really game. wish they had brought him back. I actually love that game, but I like I do, Tatsunoku. I love Tatsunoku. It's just uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a better game technically. Yeah, technically, yeah. 
But I don't know. Like I said, I can't wait to see who it is because, like I said, if it adds on to the game like really well, like the character fits in the game, then I'll be happy. There, uh, oh. there is something I wanted to talk about actually, and <laughs> Zio, it's funny. It's funny. You, yeah, it's it's funny you put him right there because I was going to um to bring that up. Uh, basically, uh. I want to know about. I mean, obviously, it's great. Mega Man's in. I think they're doing great with him. But I'm talking about the game itself. Do you think um, that one version will be better than the other? Because it looks like they're trying very hard to make the two as close knit as possible. Besides the stages. We're talking about Brawl, correct? I mean, uh, the new Smash, correct? Yes. I I can okay. honestly. Think honestly. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll throw down my opinion afterwards. Uh, it, it, okay, I was going to say, if they made it cross-platform, which is kind of doubtful... It won't that be. Would be. It's that completely would be, uh, not going to happen. Yeah, that'd be amazing, but, you know, like I said, I have my doubts on that. And well, you mean between the, between the 3DS and the... Yeah, the Wii U. Yeah, I think that, I think it's possible for them to add a, a multiplayer... No, it's not going to happen. They said they're not going to. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, as far as characters go, though, I seriously hope they bring back, like, you know, some characters from Brawl, just not the stupid ones. You know, maybe I want to see Mr. Game & Watch back. I of course you do. Mr. Okay. G-Dubs, G-Dubs will be back. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. Who? Uh, oh, Game & Watch, I'm sorry. Game & Watch, G-Dubs. Sorry, G -Dubs. I, 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 I got it, yeah. uh, like, after you... After, Mr. Game uh, & Watch is my favorite character. I honestly I don't think Tyler you know pick out any characters... To be honest, and just add more. Like, th th there should be no reason it is th this game takes Marvel's Capcom 3's approach and adds less characters than Marvel's Capcom 2, which yeah. is something there's, I'll there's never get over. With that game. There's plenty of reason why for balancing issues. There's a reason why Marvel vs. Capcom 2 wasn't a balanced game. There's a reason why there's as only much like as it wasn't balanced. It was still tons of fun just because sure, they had sure, sure. But they characters. they got you got to think about it this way: if they're trying to make it competitive, and and at the same time casual, they need to think of both parties. And in a competitive party, having like there's in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I think there was like 15 playable characters in tournament. Like that's ridiculous. Out of their like 50 some, that's insane. That's like that's that's like ridiculously bad. So. That's one thing I think they want to look at, and and, and in my opinion, the Wii U version is going to be. They're both going to sell. They're both going to sell, but the Wii U version is the one that's going to succeed and do better because that's where the community is going to come together more because that's where you're going to have tournaments for. You're not going to have tournaments on the game on the Wii U on the DS version because the maps that they're adding on the DS aren't competitive maps. So that's my that's my whole thing on it. You see, heck, well, well I, that depends I, well, I on understand. all the maps. We haven't seen all the maps of the 3DS yet. But but there's a reason why they're not. There's a reason why they're like like we've seen the, like already the idea of what they're going with, and they're going with DS exclusive maps. And when they're making these maps, I feel like they're not like like the what is it the Nintendo Dogs one? That one was ridiculous. That was like no word. There was well, no way you'd ever be able to see that. Okay, heck. I understand your approach. I really do, and it makes sense. But you can't say that the DS games haven't been, uh, you know, uh, competition based. I mean, They're the only competition game, game on the DS that I can really think of as Pokemon. No, no, no. Come on now. Uh, What's another games? really competitive game on the DS besides Pokemon? Mario Kart. Look at all the games with mini games. You got games like. Yeah. Well, let's see. Mario. Super Mario 64 DS, for example. They had yes, it was a single player game, but the multiplayer was competitive. Okay. Oh, yes, dude, but I but, love it, but it was okay. Game. When I say competitive, I, used to actually I play mean it all the time. In, a in, in a time where you're gonna get together, bring like 50, 60 people together, and have a tournament competitive. And it's only a few stages that are gonna be different. Heck, a lot of them are still gonna be the same. They said a few stages will be different between versions. Yeah, exactly. Well, We'll have to see. The game has I honestly, exclusive stages. Honestly, from what I've all seen, the stages are exclusive. No, I, and I understand that, and I understand that, and I just, I just don't see why someone's gonna bring a, a, a DS and have a tournament all it's on. It's easier DS. to carry around. You're right. It's like, it people, might be. it's like people who play Street Fighter on the 3DS. But this is the thing. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like bringing your own DS, controller to a tournament, except it's your yeah, own DS. Yeah, except, except, except the DS is three hundred or two hundred dollars when a controller is twenty five. And only one person needs to bring a Wii. But here's the thing, Hector. A lot of people didn't buy a Wii U. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people did, and it, it's cool. 
I bought a 3DS, and I don't plan on buying a Wii U just for this game, you know? And I think a lot of people share my mentality, and a lot of people don't. But Exa I'm saying... But see, this is the thing. That's the casual crowd. I actually think to... more people own a 3DS than a Wii U right and I, now. And, I, and I agree, likely. I agree. But I'm not... This is what I'm saying. In the casual aspect, that's going to be fine. But in the competitive aspect, I think that's what's going to drive the Wii U's... I think that's my thing, though. Sales. I'm not competitive Smash. I am, I'm, I'm casual no, and, Smash. No, and I understand that. I'm just... Tr I'm trying to look at both parts right here, and that's the no, thing. No, I agree. Like, I, I understand. The, the, the game... The, the DS version is going to sell a lot, and it's probably going to sell more... Than the at Wii U first, game. anyway. At first. I still think the roster but should then, be less than than Brawl. I still think the roster. That's should fine be as long as they put the right characters. Yeah. Um, well, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go on to who we want out of uh, Brawl. Like, is there anyone that you that says he shouldn't be here in Brawl? Meta Knight. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I, I think Meta Knight, oh, if Meta Knight gets nerfed, he'd be fine. He was a good addition. He got like, uh, um, it's not I took Meta Knight over DDD, to be honest. Um, no, yeah, I love DDD. I, I love DDD. DDD. Um, honestly, I love DDD uh, obviously Snake's not going to make a return. It's pretty obvious. I, I don't honest. know. Snake it, wasn't even that good. It's not pretty obvious. Me. Oh, no, no. Snake is, a, Snake is the best zoning character in the game. Um... Like, He's he's amazing. Like if I show you a video of him, like the things he does, what he does is like like he can he he he'll jump over you, footstool you, right? Drop his C4 on you, do a back throw into an up air, or then explode the C4 when you're in mid air, you're dead. At like 65%. Uh, uh, somebody I think they should remove. It's either have either Ness or Lucas. Don't have both again because honestly oh, yeah, no. they were way too similar. Lucas that, is that, definitely getting on, No, I think they fought completely different because their 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 smash. Besides the smash, um, their smashes were completely freaking different. And uh, the only thing that was really similar with seeing them is this PK Star Storm. It's like the differences between Mario they and both Luigi. They use PK Fire. PK no, no, no. Thunder. Mario and Luigi are completely different characters. Exactly. Lucas and Lucas and okay, Ness are Lucas, completely different. Lucas and Ness have the same forward smash. They have. The same, all their moves are sex exactly Barney the same. They have the same the down smash and 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 up smash. They have the exact same down smash and up smash. That's the only two moves they have the same. They have though. the same. They have the same super jump punch. They have the same. Um, no, no, their uppies down, are completely. Di their uppies are different. Personally, it's, it's, I it's, think... it, it, it may be different, but it works the same. It, it's the same move. Well, but that's the same. By that... That's the same. Works for the, that's the same. Like people the, complain about clones, but they don't realize that Mario and Luigi are completely clones. Just they fight differently. That's what clones do. They just fight slightly differently. I think they should. Uh, I think they I should agree. bring. They should bring back Mewtwo in place of Lucario. I think. Yeah. I don't, I, uh, I, there's I don't like, think they should there's bring like a small fraction of people that's like Lucario was better, but honestly, Mewtwo was more fitting. Honestly, Lucario, Lucario, Lucario was. Lucario. was uh, you can't use the fucking command anyway. All characters, you can't, you can't, you can't compare them because the game is just too completely different. Well, um, one thing I definitely think they're not gonna do is they're not gonna take out any of the original Smash uh, 12 characters. Any no, of, I, I know. The, Kirby, Kirby's gonna be back. Link will be back. Link well, will probably it, still be terrible. <laughs> Kirby's gonna be uh, back, of course. I he was like, revealed in the trailer. All 12 of the original Falcon. Smash characters, like Captain, Fal including the hidden ones, Captain Falcon, Ness, Jigglypuff, and uh. Uh, whoever else Mario, I'm forgetting. Mario and Luigi will probably still be in Luigi. there. Uh, all, all will be in it. All, all 12 of those characters. Will be I, think, I, think Fox what, I think what they should do is they should remove Falco from the game, but keep Fox and Wolf. I, I don't know. Falco will fought differently. I like enough Falco better than Wolf. No, no. Uh, Fox, Fox and Falco are, have always been pretty, pretty different characters. They added yeah. more diversity. Honestly, than they had Falco I, one person I think they need to get rid of is Toon Link. And young no, they're going. They're gonna. They're gonna get rid of him. Cause I, I could already see the already that they've already put him in the background. So they're not bringing back Toon Link. Let me see. So, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was go rather ahead. Un God dang it. <laughs> right, go ahead. <laughs> Toon Link is the most annoying character to fight against. But like, okay, Zero Suit Samus yeah. is gonna get dropped. Wolf is gonna get dropped. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, How can you say Zero Suit Samus is getting dropped when she has the same final smash as she right, did in uh, Brawl? She's gonna get dropped. I can. I'm. I'm pretty fucking. I'm pretty I, positive. I, I, don't I don't see why. why I don't I, see why. I kind of doubt it. I don't I think see why Wolf should get dropped. I like Wolf in that game. He's, You're right. He, but, but okay, let me put it this way: Fox, Falco, or Wolf. One of those three is gonna get dropped. 
I why? personally think Fellowship. Why, well, we know it's not be why, drop because, the, uh, why drop any of them? Trailer, so it can't be him. Because they have to. Like, they, you're not gonna have three characters in one game. They've, they've. Ah, I'll be back. What are you talking about? Mario has like four. In other news, hey, Mario wait. has like four characters in one game. Hey, they're not, and, and don't think they're gonna drop Peach or Bowser. And hey, Luigi, Bowser's in the Luigi's, trailer. Luigi's coming back. They're not gonna drop Peach or Bowser. It's, I, I seriously doubt they'll Luigi. bring in Daisy. You you even see Bowser, and they're not dropping Luigi. That's already three characters. Zero, it's the year of Luigi. They can't drop him. Yeah, exactly. So um, th- 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 there's no way they're dro- there's uh, and I supremely doubt they're dropping Peach. So because they need because they've already stated they needed more females. That's why they added We Fit Trainer. So uh, so there's already four characters representing Sma- uh, Mario and Smash. To the then, there's no reason. I think three should be the max for any characters though from uh, from a franchise. Wari kind of gets a pass for having his own series and stuff like that. Maybe what if they another Mega Man you know, character? I think they should, they should put in Slippy Toad as a playable character. No. Just have people kick the shit out of people with a wrench. No. 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 <laughs> sandbag is a playable know, character. <laughs> sandbag. That'd be amazing. Just <laughs> sandbag doesn't move. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident in my picks here. I'm. I'm I don't. Rob's gonna get dropped. Yeah. Rob yeah great, I don't. I, I really don't see a reason Rob can come back. I liked Rob, so, but I didn't like. I Rob, mean, I, I like Rob honestly. I did, but I don't see a reason he would come back. No. He Speaking doesn't have the here. fan base that Mr. Gaming wants. Speaking of coming back, where is he? How far away? Um, Ike will be dropped, and they're gonna I, be adding a different. I think I will be dropped because Marth is definitely the representative of, of, yes. of the sole representative of a final of, of a, a fire emblem, but uh, they might drop Ike. I'm pretty confident they'll drop Ike, and like I said, I, I, it, it's very strongly rumored right now that another uh, character is going to be added from Ike was just fire a reskinned emblem. Roy anyway. Well, no, no, he wasn't. no, no. In a lot of ways, he was. He was very similar to Roy. <laughs> He, 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 how, how he, how, no, his, Mark, attributes, Mark is, his attributes were similar to Roy, like like in fire and do and and, and not having to uh, to, to to rely on the tip of his blade. If anything, it'll just but, be uh, but they fight complete. It's it, they fight completely different. They are like they. I don't think Roy and and I uh, have a single move that's, that's the that same. Like. Besides his the counter strike. Besides the counter, down. I don't think they have a single same move besides that. The I down think that, um, move, right? Yeah. The newest, uh, the newest Fire Emblem game, that female protagonist. I think she's going to be a character now that she I think might it. be uh, considering. What's her name again? I, I, I definitely think they're bringing back Sonic, especially since uh, uh, Sega signed a Sonic contract. Sonic Lost World, yeah. So I definitely think they're bringing back Sonic. I think Sonic's I getting know. dropped. No way, I know, man! I, just, I think no Sonic's way. getting I, dropped. I never was a big, ah, especially the, especially since the Nintendo and Sega signed a contract, and Sega's gonna have there's gonna be three exclusives on uh, Nintendo for Sega. I think Sonic's getting dropped. I doubt it. Well, I but, but I Sega, Sega doesn't actually own the license. You know who wasn't dropped? Olimar. He is Olimar actually was returning. Picked up. Yes, because Pikmin, Pikmin two. three. Three. I mean three. They're I pr- I pr- yeah, you say Pikmin 3, but Olimar's not, in the, Olimar's not even in Pikmin 3. He's not playable in Pikmin 3 at all. It doesn't matter. Maybe they'll replace him with the new guy in Pikmin 3. What are you drinking? You ready, Spence? You ready, Spence? Round 2. Round 2. No, chug, 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 chug. What is he drinking? Chug, 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 chug. Oh, yeah. You suck. <laughs> What is oh, no, no, no. It's just not carbonated. It won't ruin his stomach. <laughs> All right. Well, um, who else might get dropped? Uh, um, I, honestly, I think I think D three will get dropped. Robin. Um, D D D D D D D three D three D D D D D D D D might get dropped. I'm not uh, completely Diddy Kong sure will get that. dropped. Diddy Kong will get dropped. Actually, no. I kind of doubt any any um Kirby characters will get dropped because of friggin' um. Because I friggin' uh, uh, Sakurai's running the game. I doubt any Man, of those guys might do it, but uh, he, he does Diddy Kong will definitely not get dropped. Everyone One thing loves that Diddy I think Kong. Bayonetta's no, gonna be in the game. 
everyone loved it. You know why? Because screw tripping. Especially yeah. since um Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is coming out. Maybe. Um, another like, <sighs> golly. Um, I, I honestly I don't want Mewtwo to come back because if they bring back Mewtwo, I feel like they're gonna bring him back looking retarded. And I really don't want are that. Ta- are you talking about Mewtwo's new form? Yeah. If you, you don't fun. like his new form? I, I think like it looks. It. I think it looks retarded. Like when it first, when they first announced it, everybody was like, "This is the stupidest thing ever." And now people are starting to be like, "Well, I guess it's okay." No, it's still stupid. Oh, I, from the be- beginning. I've never once thought it looked like me when I freaking first talked about Killer Instinct. I was like, "This game looks stupid," and then I really grown into liking it. Yeah, I think Mewtwo. I think his new form is ridiculous looking. Um, they they had a oh, they had they, there, there was like a comparison of what he looked like, and it was the fun. It made me laugh so hard, but uh. God damn it! We're not gonna talk about that. God. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see who, because they're gonna start revealing people like they did with the others. <sighs> it seems oh, yeah. like um, they do it once a month though, because they, oh, it took a month for them to re- finally reveal Alomar. And wait, if it's like did, that, they, they it's gonna be wild. Obviously, Mario's getting dropped. <laughs> Shut yeah, up, Sean. Fuck, fuck Mario. Man. He, doesn't have <laughs> he was in the trailer, but we're really actually getting rid of him. It was all a joke. Yeah, it's all a dream. This is God damn it. Gross, man. Sean this said, is all a dream. Sean said, Slippy Toe, Dan Hibiki of the Smash series. And uh, and honestly, that that's kind of stupid because Dan's my main in Street Fighter 4. Dude, like, Street Fighter 4 is like the only game where I can say Dan is actually a good character to pick. I kick ass with Dan in, uh, in uh, yeah, Street he's, Fighter Alpha 2. The thing is, he, he got buffed so much. Well, that was for balance. Dan is fucking hilarious. Just... For the fact it's, it's Dan. I mean, <laughs> if you want to know what the worst game with Dan is, I think it's like um, Alpha. SBC Chaos. He takes thought, so much ridiculous damage in that game. Huh? I thought he was an alpha, and he was like terrible. He's a. I don't. I don't remember. I, yeah, he's an alpha, but I don't. I don't like. I've never played alpha. I don't. I don't know. I've only played alpha three. I know, I know that like he was in one in those games, and he was like really, really bad. I don't know. But like FBC Chaos, he takes ridiculous amounts of damage. In fact, you can finish him with like reuse. You can do like one strong punch and then finish him off with Just his. Do uh, and then I, Hector's. <laughs> you can like, you can like a punch, do one strong, and then just use his um, his um, Shin Shoryuken. A, fin- a finisher, and that'll just inhibit Dan right there. He has no help at all. In that <laughs> they game. should add Woody from Toy Story 3. God damn it, Richard. <laughs> um, I personally think that... Um, oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted reading tweets here. I want to see more new characters come into this game, honestly. Let's talk about possible Sakurai's characters. been keeping to himself. Let's talk about some new characters. I, I have no idea who they could add, to be honest. Um, I definitely want them to add two characters. But a third, there's a third character I want, but I probably not. But that's only because I'm just such a fan of that character. But two characters I definitely want them to add. First one being, since Namco is de- helping develop this game, Pac-Man. Because Mario be and Pac-Man have actually had crossover games before. I don't know how many people know that. I can uh, see his final smash being him like eating the screen or something. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of see his final smash. I kind of see his final smash of him getting like slightly bigger, turning more pixelated into like a Pac-Man thingy, one turning blue, and then you just w- run into them and it does massive damage. I personally think they should put Saki Amamaya in that game. I really want. Saki to come back from Sin and Punishment. I like every time I fucking think of characters that should be Saki's in the game. In the game. Is it, Saki's in Brawl, right? Yeah, he's he's an assist trophy, but the way he's set up, like he's lightning fast. He has a gun. He has a fucking sword that he can like slap, like hack and slash. Yeah, he should, he, 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 him along with Isaac would make good actual characters from yes. assist trophy to count. I definitely think him and Isaac should be in the game, and Lil Mac. Lil um, Mac would. Too. Another char- a little Mac, yeah, little Mac should be in the game too. Another character I really want to see is Simon Belmont. Simon Belmont. Simon uh, Simon is the most uh, reoccurring character from the Nintendo games, and 
definitely want to see a Castlevania game in there, especially since uh, one came out on 3DS. And I think the best representative of uh, uh, Castlevania I, I don't is think Simon put, Belmont, because he is the Belmont. I, I don't think they'd put Simon Belmont, but they put the other Belmont dude in, uh, what is it? What's the game called? Sh- um, Richter? Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow. They should put... It's, I don't think it's Richter. I think it's someone else. No, that, it's not not I mean, Lords of Shadow, but I hope they. I I think they should go with Becker? Simon because I well, think that should that would be the best. Thinking, maybe, maybe, also, maybe. it would be a good reference to Captain in show. <laughs> I personally think that um, like they should put the character from Lords of Shadow on the 3DS in that game, even though that game apparently is not very good. But uh, you know, I, like, I, there's chances are you know. Character you never, I thought they could put in is because. Because Way Forward is like, like an, a, a Nintendo third-party company and stuff like that, they should just you know add fucking Trisha Wagon into it since they need more females and Patty Wagon fits perfectly. Um, you know what? You know what? They should just add Koopa what? Troopa. Koopa. All those should be freaking. <laughs> Smash. You know, no, you know, you know what? Uh, what I think would be an amazing yet never will happen character. Waddle D and Waddle Do should be their own characters too. No, Hector, shut the fuck oh. up. Um, <laughs> Dude, think about it. Think about it. Isaac from the Binding of Isaac. Imagine him in a fighting game. Oh God! Would that be crazy or what? That would be ridiculous. That'd be amazing. I don't even. He would like, get random pickups on the ground, and then he'd yeah. like turn into a fucking monster. And his, and his uh, final smash is his mother's foot coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac! He just pull up the fucking. He just pulled up that one card that has his mom, and he'd be like, Isaac! Boom! Guys, oh, that would be amazing. That would. Be they should just add every character that was, has been in any fighter or any Nintendo game ever into the game. We should just put a bunch of indie game yeah, characters just, as assist simple, simple. That wouldn't be that. a bad idea. I'd love to see. I'd yeah, love to need see to take Stitch away Star Free as a as a. As a I'd love trophy. to see Stitch Star Lips in as an assist trophy. I just want to say this has been the longest thirty minutes of my life. <laughs> it's been more than thirty minutes. It's been like an hour. Apparently, exactly. Richard, actually, it's, been, it's been about an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half. Exactly yeah, I know. My point, I, Mr. I said that, Dave. Wait a minute. A yeah, you're right, later. Dave. Where the hell are you? <laughs> I actually I'll agree with Richard on this. One. Little Nemo. What about him? Little Nemo. <laughs> the thing I is, love back to him. I think Dave's watching us on his iPad like he was last time, and he's just like, "Fuck these guys. I'm just gonna sit here and let them suffer." <laughs> We're gonna Suffer. Here about Smash. Suffer without Dave McCauley. Man, this yeah. what's, what's your favorite fighting game, guys? We run this shit without him. Yeah, we may uh, as well just keep on the subject of fighting, I guess. What's your favorite fighting game? Fighting game? God. What was that crazy freaking noise? My favorite. I guess you want to start with me, because I have like a lot of fighting games that I love. You might have the most. <laughs> Well, um, my favorite fighting game right now is Darkstalkers. I fucking love Darkstalkers. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm in love with playing Darkstalkers. It's been one of my favorite fighting games to play online, even though I suck ass at it. I I am just, oh, and I just love that game so damn much. Tekken is another series I absolutely adore. I've oh always God. loved that series. Mm-hmm. Tekken is the shit. I don't care. Tekken is Tekken. my favorite fucking. Mortal Kombat has always been a favorite of mine as well. Mm. So, but that's pretty much it. On to you, Chris. No, I don't want it. No. Um, let's see. My favorite fighting game, God. Um, Tekken is that person said. I love Tekken. <laughs> Tekken favorite series. Fuck you, Chris. Who are you? Who, Brad? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I do still love Injustice. I know, even though I suck at the game, I love that still game. That's um, a very good point, Chris. Injustice. Injustice is a really good game. Um, I've never played it, but I heard it was amazing. So. Uh, what else? Should, what else? Like I said, I play Street Fighter, so Street Fighter is always. I don't know what Street Fighter are your favorite. What about the WWE? Street Fighter are your favorites. I've always loved Third Strike. That yeah, or Third Strike yeah, one of those two. Third Strike or Four Eight uh, Eight. I always 
those have been my two favorite. And WWE, yes, it's technically a fighting game. Don't give me that bullshit, but... Uh, it's wrestling. I know it's yeah, based on fake things, but so are movies fighting games, too. Things. So. Not fake, yes, God damn it! Stop saying fake. I hate when people use fake. I know, no, I'm just don't putting get it me started. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Animals. The older Killer Instinct are also another favorite. Oh, the older Killer Instinct. Oh, my God. Streets oh, of Rage is a beat-em-up. That <sighs> draws me. Yeah, Streets of Rage is a big Come on, guys. Yeah. The, best, the best fighting, fighting game, game of all time is Clay Fighter 63. No, <laughs> best fighter of all time is not no, 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 being no, no, a third. No, no, no. Guys, guys. <laughs> my favorite fighter. Wait, Clay <laughs> Fighter? Clay Fighter 63 Clay in the fighter third. 63. That game was amazing. Dude, that game was amazing. Wasn't there a sequel to it as well? No, no, no. I no, hear no, that no, there's no. a new Clay Fighter. No, 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 I, I gotta no, check no, it. No, 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 no. The best fighting game is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh yeah, the tournament, the, the tournament yeah. fighter from the Super Nintendo. Yeah. High five! That was great. Guys, guys the best. No, no, no. The best fighter of all time is obviously Shaq Fu. That's a, that's a beat 'em up. No, it's, it's not. Fighter of all no, time. it's a fighting, fighting game. game. Oh my god. It's a fighting game. Okay. Don't kill. Don't really kill me for this, fight. but I actually like Shaq Fu. <laughs> no, 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 no. You were uh, thinking of Streets of Rage. No, no. Zio. Oh, no. was a fighting game too. Zio. I mean, everyone. Zio and everyone. Hey, best fighting game, Def Jam, fighting oh, for New York. Shit. Oh yeah, Def Def Jam. Jam. dude, I actually, I actually really like that game. It's, it's because the game is structured. Def Jam, was, Def like, Jam wasn't a bad it's game. It's because that game is structured like WWF No Mercy. That's why I really love it. Bikini Karate Babes, guys. That's Come the on, best fighter so of all Cal time. What about Rumble people. Roses? Hold on. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> what about Stone Wheels? Heard of this game? Bikini oh, okay. Karate Babe. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my but, God, uh, this is. Is is that is that it, um, Mufasa? Uh, yeah. no, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there because I could go on all day. I loved how your eyes bugged out earlier when you were like, guys. What about what about you? What about you, you Hector? <laughs> like right now, it's gonna be screenshotted. Fuck. Right face. <laughs> Okay, um, are we talking about like actual like favorite fighter? Like, are we talking about favorite fighter of all time? Best fighter? What, 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 your favorite like, fighter? Who's, who's your favorite? My favorite fighter. personal favorite fighter of all time. That's, no, no. That's <laughs> like any of your favorite fighters. He's going to have to be one, Chris. Yeah, I have a couple that I'm gonna name. Oh man. Well, like the game I put the most time into would be Street Fighter Four, but I don't know if I'd say that's. Oh, God, you guys. You, Skip me. God. D, I'm never going to think of a Go ahead, one. Tyler. Or Brian, we'll come back to you. Go ahead. Right, Tyler, go ahead. Well, um, not to sound generic, but my favorite three would be Street Fighter, Tekken, and Smash. And I know that's very generic, but those are the ones I enjoyed the most. I, like I which Street say Fighter? Combat, and which Tekken? I, uh, okay. Uh, I, honestly, I'm a big fan of the original uh, Street Fighter 2. That was the one I played for oh. so many years. And I didn't even know how to do the special moves back then, but it was like, but it was pretty awesome. That game was so awesome. Original fun. arcade Tekken was awesome. Yeah. Tekken, I just played, they were I going to arcades and playing Tekken. I got into Tekken from Tekken 2. Tekken, te the Tekken yeah. Tag was one of my and, favorites. Richard, Richard oh my just God. said I still had a Tekken TMNT tag. fighting game. What about that game? What? Huh? There, there was a fighting game. You know, the, no? The yeah, there was fight? a TMNT fighting game? I know there were beat em ups. Oh, there. yeah, there was. Yes, there was, there there was a Nintendo. Yes, yes, I know which one he's talking about. I fucking love that I game. I never got that to play game that. That game good, yes. I oh, yeah, there is a the time. Yes, that one. Yeah. It's a really fucking good game, too. Yeah, it is. Fun. I I have, it's I like a versus it. mode. You guys remember the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the PS2 for, that was based off the 2000-something uh, uh, cartoon? 2002 cartoon? 2000. Wasn't it? Three. I thought it was... 2003, I think. Wasn't that like Mutant, Mutant Mash or something? Like Mutant Monster? No, no, it was like the first Teenage... It was the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, but it had a versus mode where you could play... Uh, fight against each wasn't, other. Wasn't was there awesome. a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Wii that was a Smash Bros. clone? I, I, I think... I think I think there that's is. That's a TMNT. It was like Smash Up or something like that? Yeah. I yeah. know what you're getting. Yeah, based I've, on, I've heard a lot of good things on, about uh, that game. I was actually thinking about getting that now. <laughs> That does oh, look yeah, that was based on the TMNT by, movie. By the way, I still love the original Marvel vs. Capcom. That was the I, too, man. I, I still love X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Woo! God. Wolverine's broken in that game, though. That's oh, the problem man. I have with fucking that game. Oh. Dude, Charlie all day. 
All right, I, 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 do, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it, guys. I My do favorite love fighter of all time. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say that, is it Barbie Horse Fighter? <laughs> it actually is. God damn it. <laughs> you guys are silly. No, no, my favorite fighter of all time has to be, I think, Capcom versus SMK. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, Hands down. I'm pretty sure that's my favorite fighter. Shout out to everybody who didn't say it. Capcom versus SMK2. Amazing game. It's coming out for the fucking PS3, so fuck you. Other than, other than my my ah. favorite game of like the current generation would have to be probably KOF 13. Oh shit! King of oh Fighters. god, King of Fighters. I haven't played that game. So I haven't long. played a King of Fighters game in a long time. But Dave yeah, I haven't either. I, I just can't get into the series. The only time I've ever played it was a street. It was a uh, Cat versus uh, Marvel's a uh, Catcom versus SK. And see, the thing about KOF is it's, it's not very forgiving for newer players. Like, and that's the reason why I understand why a lot of people don't get into it. Because, like, it, it's the most technical fighting game there is. There's nothing that can compete with it in its technicalities. Like, you, mess, you, you, do, you do a freaking heavy punch, and you're, and you're losing a quarter of your life because you got punished. Like, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Carry on. All right. Vince, you got any more of uh, your favorite? All right, well then, um, I guess I'll go with me then. Uh, I got a series that no one has ever mentioned and uh, stuff. But yeah, I'm a guy that likes Tekken as well. But my favorite being Tekken 6 right now, although Tekken Tag is probably... You know, if I play more of that, it'll probably take up the same spot that Tekken 6 is. I grew up with Tekken 2, and I played the heck out of Tekken 3, uh, Tekken Tag and Tekken 4. I played the Tekken heck out of those. Was amazing. The, only Tekken I haven't, the only Tekken games I haven't played is... Uh, Dark Resurrection, because that's on the PSP. Um, I haven't played uh, Tekken 5 and Tekken the, the... Those are the only ones I have not played. Although you know, I hear I, Tekken 5 was pretty unbalanced. I have played all the oh, Tekken Oh, I just thought of something, five. but I'll see if you say it, Zio. I have played all the Tekkens except 5, which is weird. But uh, other game, uh, uh, besides that, uh, uh, a Street Fighter... When it comes to Street Fighter, my favorite Street Fighter games is uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the SNES. I grew up with that, and I love the heck out of it. Um, Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha, and yes. Alpha 2. Street Fighter Alpha, I love Alpha. Uh, I've been play Third I Strike. The heck out of that when I used to stream. I love Street Fighter Alpha 3. Third Strike and, uh, Street, and uh, Street Fighter 4, and all those. Those are the Street Fighter games I have that I played. Um, and when uh, here's some games that people have not played, probably. <laughs> Uh, I played Capcom Fighting Evolution a lot. I don't know oh, how yeah, many people have played that, that, but it's a really yeah. it's a really good Mugen. That's what I got to say. It's just a it's really, a really good, good. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I've played a lot of this game here. Dead or I Alive. I love this series in general. Dead or Alive. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I, I need to get DO, I need to get DOA four, but I love DOA. I, I wish I had it, but I don't have it anymore. But uh, Rival Schools was a really I've good. I heard game. a lot of good things about DOA Five. It's a really good ri guys, Rival guys, Schools. Street really Fighter good EX Three guys. Yeah, I remember Street Fighter EX. That game was terrible. But uh, game <laughs> 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 was terrible. It had good music. It was. I don't know who had the idea of hey, let's make the ability to do a three versus one possible. I'm sure that'll be good. Guys. I thought of something. I don't know if you were done, Zio, but I did think of something. I I, I did have like um, like I, there was two more games I was gonna name. Was uh, there anything uh, that we'd mentioned uh, before? Um, uh, one game that's probably gonna know of that I Is love to ninja? play as a fighting game. You know, go go ahead and if you don't say it, then I'll bring it up again. Uh, I don't know how people have played this game, but Marvel, uh, uh, Marvel, Marvel Alt. Uh, what's the name of that game? Shit. Marvel? When's Marvel? It's Marvel. <laughs> Shit. I don't think there's. It's a Marvel. It's got Marvel in the title, but I can't remember it. I had it in my head just a second ago. When's Marvel? Avengers Alliance or whatever. <laughs> When's Marvel? No. Um. It's not Ultimate Alliance. No. It's Marvel exclusive characters. It was for the PS2. It was a really good game. 
Marvel Nemesis: Rise of the Imperfects. That game is like super underrated. It's a it's a lot of fun, and I I, I played the heck out of that game. It's a good it's a good fighting game. I and if you're really good at it, you can you can own people in that game if you're really good at it. Um, you know what really game you can own people at if you're really good? I, f- I forgot to mention Every Smash. Every game. One of my <laughs> We can play every game. God damn it, bro. I forgot to mention Smash was one of my favorites. And, uh, I can't think... There's one more game. It'll take a while for everybody to notice. I can't think of it, so I'll leave it off with that. Uh, There is something that nobody's mentioned that I thought of. Uh, what is it, Spence? Oh, shit. As, as soon as Chris, like, calms the fuck down. I'm sorry, it's just funny what he's doing over there. <laughs> Where's Marvel? The <laughs> What's Marvel? Come on. What's Marvel? What's Marvel? Now you're making fun of my, uh, the people <laughs> who, uh, live in Maine, my state. They have that accent, they'll say Marvel. I, I don't, I don't have that accent, I say Marvel, but they're like, Marvel. <laughs> But there's a, there's a guy named Yipes that came up with the whole meme. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'll go back to my thing. All right, uh, what's mean, the game? Mean, it's like this, actually. That's how you actually do it. it, it, it what I have is more of a series. <laughs> my apple, baby! Oh, hold on, guys. Let me... I want to hear Spitz. Um... Just Dragon Ball Z fighting games, man. They're all... Oh, oh Budokai! That... I'm looking right oh, at it. Budokai. That's the game I was thinking of. Thank you. Budokai, because I have, I have the, like, my favorite one is this one, the first one. I love this one. I can, I can jump back into this game any day. I've got the HD I, collection, which has I one I want to make a point. It. Did anybody here play, um, uh, Bud- uh, uh, what is it, uh, the, one, the first Chichu? one for the, X- no, the first one for the Xbox and PS3. What was it called? Um, oh, um, Burst Limit? Burst, Burst, Burst Limit. Limit. No, uh, Burst I Limit was the first one. Yeah, yeah so, uh, Burst Limit. I, back, I remember back, that. Um, I've never played Burst Limit. Back when I worked at GameStop, my old manager, he was actually number two in the United States and number four in the world in that game. Wow. He oh, yeah, played there, that game. There was a Sailor Crazy. Moon fighting game, apparently. Oh, God. There's also a Sailor Moon RPG. There's a Sailor Moon beat-em-up. I've seen it before. I think I, I think Biz did it, actually. Oh, God. Stop. No. <laughs> Be some I don't more know. Fighting games that I'm I, I've always enjoyed Dragon Ball Z fighting games of any, like not just the Budokai series, but like they had a bunch on the SNES. They had a bunch just better, different spin-off type games that have gotten better and better. It's always been a good series for fighting. I, I, it, yeah, dra- that's what Dragon Ball Z does best is fighting games. Although um, th- there's that one, there's that one game that turns into like a beat 'em up that that becomes a fighting game for uh, a bu- I think it's Boo's Fury. It's for the GBA. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they had a Legacy of Goku 1 and 2, and then they had Boo's Fury. Yeah. Yeah, Boo's Fury is the game I'm thinking of. I think. Well, actually, no, because it's based off the first Dragon Ball, so. Not dun dun. I think it's Dragon Ball Adventures, actually. Dragon Ball Adventures Advance or something like that. Mega Mike did a. That was an okay one. And he probably I, had the borders all wrong and shit. I completely, I forgot about, I've completely had forgotten about Mega Mike until you guys brought him back up. He yeah. still exists. I know. Yeah, I you're going to hear him in my secret podcast, my secret LP I'm doing. Like, so. I, I remember, God, I, 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 how did I get into this, guys? How did we all get into this? Because we were. It's his fault. Into, like, what, making videos? It's his fault. No, just like, fault. how we all, like, where did we all meet? <laughs> we're, uh, we're going that far back. We're going that far dude. back. Let's, let's, dude. I, I, like I met everyone from Bonga, Nufi Bonga. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. I met, I met everyone from that. Did he still say that in every that, single one of his videos? Because I remember that was like his little his calling. He hey, still does that. Bonga. Yeah, that's his, that's still, still, that's still that? his thing. Okay. He still hey, does that. The Bonga's back. He's Bonga. He still does good LPs. I actually no, no, met I just... everybody through Retro, so... Yeah, that's yeah. how I met everybody, Retro. I, m- mine was the biggest circumstance ever. 
Um, I was on YouTube for like one of the first times by chance. I find one of Retro's videos through a series he did, an old series. I find his stream and I meet everybody, all yeah, because I watched I, one video. Yep, that's what I remember. I remember always being on his streams, meeting you guys. And then uh, I, 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 mine's kind of circumstantial too. I think actually here the first person I met was probably Brad actually. Yeah! Because oh, me, me and Brad met through a Baga stream. Okay. Uh, with the second person probably Bonnie being Fossa. Yeah. Probably no, I remember. I remember. I remember always so hanging out with everybody back in retro streams, other than Bizarro streams. Okay. Who wants to hear my story? Actually, goes far back. Okay. How I met everyone was, first of all, I used to go to Justin TV when um. Because I used to be, when Street Fighter really got its pop, like, people were streaming and everything, and I used to watch this guy all the time, and I guess he, he stopped streaming for a while because he had issues. So, I went to um, look around for, like, other streams to watch, and I think the first stream I went to was, um, I think it was Keo's, actually. I think it was Keo's stream. Went to that stream. From that stream, I met Ryan. From Ryan... I met, um, I think it was you, Zio. If it wasn't you, it was Dave. But I forget who it was. And then, like, from Dave, uh, I w we went to the Virtual Gaming Ranch, and yours, and that's, that's how I met everyone else. Cause Cause I met after, Tyler, I met, after I met, I met some people in um, Bonga I Street, Lady, I met everyone else from uh, the Rangers. And then, and then, like I said, I think you were there, Hector. And I think... Yeah. No, I think I met I used you to just through. stop by all the time. Yeah, and that's how I knew you, and, and that's how we I met. And then I, I knew the Brad is, like Chris, a while ago until I didn't know I knew Brad until he fucking told me. You would uh, you had gotten yourself established while I was uh, away for like a few yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, I get. And I came back. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, who the fuck is Mufasa Fernando? He's some asshole, like fucking piece of shit taking over. I then I remember I remember just uh. Like you guys, you guys used to sh when there was a stream. You guys did a weekend long stream. I don't even. I wasn't even with you guys at this point. I was fused for, and it was just like it was a weekend long stream. And then I remember I got mod that weekend on his stream. And then all of a sudden something happened. And I was like, hey, why why can't I do a podcast? And he's like, you want to do a podcast? Let's do a podcast. And then it's just yeah. And it's just <laughs> I think it was you, uh, you Matub and uh, Flozax were all in this. You debuted all in the same podcast. Yeah, you guys. No, no, did. no. I don't. I don't think I did. I don't ever remember doing a podcast with Flozax. No, Wait, then no, no, it was no, 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 no. It was Matub and Flozax, and you came in uh, in the podcast after. After, that. yeah, because I was there. Yeah. Matub, yeah. Man, back when Flozax was a part. Oh man, we don't. Man, that's that real lot. far back. That's really, I'm that's... trying to remember. I remember when I fly, uh, 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 debuted this podcast. I think he was only in one podcast, to be honest, because he he got really busy afterwards. And yeah, he used to, he used to kind of... always cancel. He used to always be like, "Oh, I'll be there," and then not yeah, show up. He or... he had a lot going on, I guess, and then he just kind of drifted, and then he just wasn't here anymore. So and I guess it and I, I remember I remember there was some stuff about him not doing art for the group. Then he see that he said he was. Uh, it's not really something we need to get into now. It's it's yeah, in the past, I guess. There were some. Yeah, there were there were disagreements here and there, and just some yeah. lacks of interest. It happens, you know. But nobody holds any grudges. We're we're fine, you know. Yeah, thank you God. Want to talk about we crazy won't talk about we won't talk about one podcast you yeah. guys had. No, no. You, you know, know what, what's Spence? Crazy? I was okay. in the very first, and I can still remember because it was the podcast that I gave name to Nintendo News. <laughs> Dude, I remember back when Retro Gaming <laughs> started out as Pingus Plus. Remember that? Pingus. It was punching Pingus. your face before Pingus yeah, Plus. It was punching your face. <laughs> and then it was Pingus Plus, and then it was the Rangers. Rangers and then, yeah. Then. I just love the way that Retro always said Pingus. He's like, Pingus Plus. Pingus. 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 That's how I. That's how these days we have to, to we have to get Retro on here as a guest sometime. <laughs> See, that's how that's how I remember Retro is from punching your face, like. Oh man. We were from yeah, that, that brings how we all met. But yeah, that's like I said, I met like I said, I met through everyone through Retro. I, it, it, it actually turned out to Retro because that's how I met Lady and every, I think basically everyone I 
I met here. We'll Retro is the reason I am who I am, in a sense, only because like I wouldn't have gotten into making videos and meeting everybody if I hadn't seen his video. I could say the same thing for Bonga, because uh, w when I first started making videos, Bonga actually gave me some assistance, and um. When did I make videos? Oh wait, some drive to Retro actually start Dave making help videos. Bizarro helped me with streaming a lot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like um. Who helped me with streaming? I don't even remember. I the first person, oh, when my streams actually started getting good, I have to thank um, who was it? Um, Crazy Horse three sixteen. Oh yeah, Crazy Horse. He mm. he uh, he helped me actually start making good streams with decent quality. I like I, okay. like I started using FME at that point. because before then who I was remembers? using webcam. I was using webcam Max, and before that I was using I minicam. Many don't ever use minicam many by the way. It's completely shit. Yeah. Oh. But um, who here absolutely. remembers uh, Bizarro's old shows? Those were the best. Yeah, those yeah. were the best. Dude. I remember, I remember, I remember the day. I remember when the he outro. used to stream, Jetto, 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 man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I still remember the day that he got so upset that he just muted his mic and never once unmuted it again. Like, he just, he just all his streams became like mute, like no speaking, and I was just like, wow. Made me sad. Yeah, like, I remember, like, so many things from, like, Bizarro streams. He had one of the best streams. God, I miss Because those. his voice was so goddamn epic. I know, I know. He used to... Oh, God. There's so many to... videos, like, who remembers... Okay, and yes, this is probably because lady. But, um, who remembers that one thing with... It's on YouTube where he... Uh, I guess, uh, she came into the Rod uh, channel, and he was playing, uh... Hit and Runners. I forget what the name of the game was. Is it then, the the Simpsons game? No, he wasn't playing the Simpsons game. It was an older game. I can't think of it. Hold on, let me go find the video. But I remember, like, like, like oh, he got he shot. Shot you. you ass. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can get the. Yeah. Um. There was like something we used to say, and he would do his little impression of um. Of a Arnold Schwarzenegger oh, while fapping, oh like, God. come on, this man, oh, no, put the hoodie no. down. <laughs> so, when, oh my God. First, we talk about, like, shit and fighting games, and now we're just reminiscing on the old days, the olden days. I think what, that's what he uh, was uh, Back to the fighting game topic. What's your, like, favorite fighting game memory of something oh, you've done? God. Oh, my God. Even Street Fighter 2 for the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh God! The day I perfected a dude online and he got salty. That he raged. <laughs> that sounds awesome, actually. That he raged to me in all caps. Almost reminds me of Pikachu Akuma when he types constantly in all caps. Uh, oh. I miss those days. When I actually didn't. Has suck. anybody ever gotten a double KO in Street Fighter? Oh, another fighting game I'm, I'm Yeah, gonna double KO. And it's a really recent fighting game, too. Uh, uh, sorry. Another fighting game I forgot to mention, it's a really recent fighting game, too, is the uh, uh, the, ab that, the adaptation of a fighting game of this game. Oh, yeah, Persona 4 Arena. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a really good fighting game. I, 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 I've I seen so much footage of it, I, I really want to get it. It's pretty strong. It's pretty solid. Um. So Especially since this game is so good. This is such a good um, game. There's actually a game I'm looking forward to that looks really hype. It's only in Japan right now. It's, it's coming to the States soon. It's called Yatagarasu. Oh my god. It's it's like a combination of King of Fighters and like... But, but it's a less technical game. And it's just... Ah, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Uh, anybody, anybody who's big into fighters, especially like, uh, especially like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What, what the game? What game was before Blaze Blue? Blaze Blue. Guilty, Guilty Gear? Gear. Guilty Gear. If you like, like Guilty Gear, King of Fighters, something similar to that, I definitely recommend you check out Yatta. What do you guys think out. of? Uh, you got a Kickstarter for it right now, so. What do you guys think of Skullgirls? Good game. It's a good game, man. Really good game. I'm, I'm really glad. I really like that they have the ratio system in the game. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's who's like a Street Fighter three, King of Fighters type. Like, it's pretty solid. 
It is it is very awesome. I actually what had do you a lot think of fun. is the most what do you think is the most disappointing fighting game you've ever played? <sighs> like ever? Ever. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. No. Um, no. Um wow. I actually don't know okay, this myself. Well, okay, I so so I think the most disappointing game that I've ever played, like like the day one, would be Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. by the way, I found day one. So you're day like one, one of those people. Uh, you're like one of those people that like Brawl just because um Brawl, just because Brawl was a little slower and not as uh it's, not, uh, a, a little floatier. Did you say uh, a little slower? By the way, I found. Uh, okay, okay, I'll give you the game runs. Uh, the no, fighting no, is slower. I was disappointed for game. multiple reasons. One, the there's no such thing as a combo. And brawl. Hold on for a second. Before you it's finish that, combos. I found the video <laughs> I was talking about earlier. Off. Just to let you know, and then the game was called Gotcha. That was it was not hit and run. No, There's it's, no such it's called Gotcha. Just, gotcha. Okay. I, 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 I think that. I get it. There's no such thing as a true combo in brawl. There's no two moves that you can that, that like that you can do that leads to another thing. There's no true combos in brawl. I've done combos before. Like n name something that's a combo in brawl. There's not enough hits done combo, combo. by any move that makes a combo. Like in in, in 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 melee, I know if I down smash you as Sheik, I can either get a forward tilt, a, a forward air, a forward smash, or I mean a down down smash. I apologize, or a up air out of down throw every single time because it's guaranteed. I just need to make sure I read. Properly. You can do yeah, you can do stuff like that. But in like brawl, in brawl, if I throw no no King DDD, you do any kind of throw, but then it's whether they mess up. Because they have the ability to dodge, they have the ability to hit you back, they have the ability <laughs> to do anything. For the most part, it's the same way in melee. No, it's not. In melee, you're not – because in melee, when you get hit, there's like a second to two seconds when you literally can't move. You can't do any actions, you can't do anything because you're getting – you're in stun. Hit stuns are a big thing about Street Fighter 2. It's like yeah, and, uh, you, you, you lock someone down – with that hit stun, and that's when you initiate your combo. You see that opportunity because there's always an open when you get the hit stun. It's like it's combo. like in it's like in okay. So the best way to describe it is like if you play Street Fighter Four, if you hit someone with a low, a low short with Ryu, it, you can always hit them with the fireball because they're still in the hit stun of the low short. Yeah, like pretty much. Th but like if it was if it was brawl tactics, you could do the low short, throw a fireball, other than they would just block because there's no hit stun in brawl. That's the thing with. Uh, having an arcade stick too is that like the buttons are laid out in a way where in which you can actually do all this crazy shit on uh, arcade stick opposed to actually using it on a controller yeah. because you're, you have to like reach around at everything yeah that's what I, I like I'm about just, having I just I'm just saying because you know, like I play brawl competitively or I did before I like not too long ago and like I said originally I was just so disappointed because I played melee really competitively and brawl was just the furthest you can get away from melee. How would there you was no furthest. It, it, it was, was still Smash Brothers. You know what? I can honestly compare Brawl to the version of Smash Brothers more than the I can compare melee to. No, because in the original Smash Brothers, if you touch someone, they're dead. No, hell no. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> see, okay. See, this is this is where I'm confusing myself with you guys. Mind? I continue to talk in a competitive aspect. I apologize. I apologize. In a tournament in Super Smash Bros. 64 where there's good players, you're dead. You're dead if you get hit by a Pikachu up air. Simple as that. You're dead <laughs> if you get hit I by a Pikachu. something I gotta bring up about, uh, and I, about uh, Brawl and Melee. Uh, something I like definitely from Melee over Brawl is the is that you they don't baby you and make it easy to get all the characters. You had to work to get the characters in Melee. That's what I liked about it. Yeah. I, 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 I'd, I'd say I agree with you on that, but playing 20 hours of, 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 of versus mode just to get you is stupid. No, really stupid. I, just, other way I just left my GameCube on overnight. The only other way you I can left get GameCube is overnight. by doing 500 versus matches. That takes a long time. Either way, you're going to be spending you, more than like 24 do? hours. I have a family that just leave like, your GameCube on overnight. I did, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I do that, but it's just, it's still annoying. I I had a family that that's electric. Like, like, you gotta pay for it, you though. Know. I I actually had a family that like I didn't me, my uncle, it. and my cousins played it like. And a, uh, it really sucks when you when you lose your memory of for mailing. You got to do it all over again. 
I, that, that's why I really like the Subspace oh, Emissary. Right, it was, really, it was a once. fast, efficient way of getting characters with Subspace Emissary. Well, see, the so thing about Mewtwo is you only if you had a four players, yeah, it was yeah. really only five hours you had to leave your GameCube on. So, not a it's, big deal. It, it, to get Mewtwo, you need to have played 20 hours. It, yes, per player. Meaning, every, if, meaning if you have four players on, each one of them count as one hour, so you only need five hours. Well, that's only if you have four controllers. I only had of two. So I only had hours. two. Yeah. So, because that was just me and my sister. Well, me and my family played it like it was a fucking religion, so we ended up getting mute. Well, like, like, uh, like only me and my sister, like, truly uh, console gamers. Mom plays mostly PC games, like uh, Bejeweled and stuff. So, like, we're the only, console, we're the only true console gamers in this. I, uh... I, I personally am a big, like... I, I used to just play nothing but Melee at the time, so we ended up unlocking, like, all the characters in, like, a week prior. I think it's time for me to draw something. Because I always draw something during the podcast. I might draw... Like, should I draw... What, what should I draw during this podcast? Um... You should draw um, Ryu throwing a Hadouken at I don't know. I uh, Mario and uh, Mario and Ryu locking up a fireball and a Hadouken. Yes, I uh, hope I can draw that actually. Because that's not going to be that, or have Luigi in the middle getting destroyed by them. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I can do that. I hope I can draw for you. So so let's Ryu. make a bet, guys. That's who, thinks Link, who thinks Link's going to be top uh, low tier in this new Brawl game? He probably will be. Link has never. Link has always been one of the like, ten Mario worst characters in the game. Good tier again. Uh, I think Mario's mid tier in, in Brawl. Cause I think he'd be too. No, he's not. I think he is low tier. Never mind. Uh, Mario's. Well, I. I don't think. Wait, in brawl? No, Mario is low tier. Yeah, tier. No, he's low tier. He's low tier. He is low tier. They need he's to make Lucas uh, mid tier. Cause um, Mario sucks in uh, melee. Um, yeah. But that's why they made Doctor Mario. Well, yeah, they had to make a completely <laughs> different Mario to actually make him good. Well, he's, he's, he, Dr. Mario actually isn't very much, isn't that much better than regular Mario. Just stronger. Um, no, no not, not, I wouldn't say stronger. The differences between them he's is his, stronger. uh, his, do, do you know he how he's stronger? stronger? Yeah, how is he, he is stronger? stronger. How is he stronger? He's, um, some of his moves are more damaging than Mario's. Isn't like his, um, his forward Mario's? smash, his electric forward smash is stronger than Mario's. His, um, forward air, area forward smash, the, um, the thing that normally does a spike is now, the instead of a spike, it's, oh. it hits upward. So it's it, it, it but it, it's also stronger too. His cape is slightly longer and it's um and it's stronger. Okay. And, um, the mega vitamins do more. The mega vitamins do more hits done. Uh, yeah, he's just stronger yeah. in general. Okay, so um, his forward smash does like an extra two percent, I think, and his forward air does the same amount as Mario's. Uh, the difference is Doc's uh Doc's Kobe his forward air has a chance of if you hit it in in the sweet spot, it'll it'll actually dunk him downwards. Which, so which it's Mario doesn't do. Yeah, Get, it's a meteor. So that gives a new term to getting getting dunked, right? Yeah, it's called. Uh, well, well, in, in melee, like for like, if you're a commentator and you're like, oh, here comes up, here comes the Kobe, because he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> here comes yeah, the Kobe Bryant. Yeah, that's the Kobe. Big that's what dunk. They call it. Yeah, or you know, of uh, I I personally feel like they could have should have called it the Doctor J, because it makes <laughs> a little more. Yeah, but uh. Besides that, like Mario, Mario has a glitch in the game where if you up B into a wall, you can you can wall um you can wall tech it and then up B again. There's arguments as to why Mario's a better character. There's many arguments. I just like better because of his moves. I don't know. I, they were the same as Mario's, but they looked cooler in my opinion. No, and I've always been a Doc fan myself. Like Doc is number nine and Mario's number thirteen in the game. So there's not even that big of a difference between them. Contra um, freaking sucks. God damn it, Joe. Um, uh, what else you got? Like my, 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 yeah. You know what? You want to know something funny? That reviewer that um, Grandpa Joe he is apologized. 
No, he didn't apologize. I still talk to him on Skype. Wait, who apologized? What? Vid it's this, it's this reviewer. He, when he was a kid, he would he had these squeaky yeah, voices. He he'd like, swear, and he would just say stuff like "Contra sucks" or like, "Fucking sucks." Uh, he he apologized, but believe it or not, I still talk to the guy on Skype, and he's changed big time. He's changed. Yeah, he's more he's, a, he's a he's a new fucking person. Well, when you're young, you're naive and you don't know what you're doing wrong. Yes, I know, I understand that. But I mean, he's he's changed so much. At, he's at like least, at least he let the videos person. stay there, so he they pe people would still be able to make fun of him because I don't know. But yeah, um, I mean, I still talk to him on Skype. Shout out to him. I don't know if he's watching this, which kind of weird if he was. But yeah, um, he actually has his own YouTube, like a new YouTube now. He actually does reviews once in a while and. Uh, he basically said that uh, he's focusing on more professional like reviews, so he's actually been uh, doing that and such. But um, his YouTube channel is called Mr. Vib One One Three now. Uh, check it out. He's he's actually he's actually not doing too bad. I mean, he's doing pretty good. From what I see. Hector, what the fuck are you doing? Hector, what was that? <laughs> Speak, you son of a bitch. Uh, I don't know. I really? thought I heard something. How, how was, uh, how was uh, pizza hour? <sighs> pizza hour? Pizza Actually, pizza time. I time to order a new pizza. Was that Dave? I, I, I thought, I swear, I thought I heard Dave for whatever reason. God damn it, Zeo. I hate you. No, you don't. Let's get shelled with pizza. I have a cyborg. Cyborg. Pew, pew, pew. That is awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you are having way too much fun, damn god damn it. Are you I game? hope I hope we can get that as as like a. I wonder if that's gonna be one of the thumbnails. You with that what? thing. Fucking Robocop. Thank you for your cooperation. Drop it. Where is where is the missile? He's the Terminator. Where is the missiles? Drop as the police. <laughs> like, no, that looks like some kind of target. Help. What the uh, what the uh, pilots wear? Were they target targeting computers and shit? Lock on acquired. Firing in three. Two, one, target annihilated. <laughs> Dude, you look like you're gonna shoot a laser out of that fucking thing. Just stop. God damn it. Now he's back to it. Beatbox and moose. <laughs> So without Dave, we managed to somehow have over a two-hour podcast. How do we do that? Keep, keep talking. I'm looking for something. We are looking for uh, something. Monkeys in outer space. <laughs> no, ducks in outer space. Get it right. Mooses in outer space. <laughs> Mooses in outer space. Uh. See, but. you know, it's funny how we talk about fighting games, but we could also go bad if we start talking about RPGs, but I'm not going to even go there, because we would have fights all day about that, like we do before. You know what, you, know you, see, you hear about this RPG better than... Oh, no, you did not say that. Like... Spence, Spence, so I have some good news. And some bad news. And some really good news. What? Oh, and bad news. Right. The good yeah. news is I'm allowing you to keep the green name. Bad news is... <laughs> you I had to even it. better news is... You have to swallow the blue pill. Now I have to take the red pill, which is Mufasa. God damn it. And now we shall look at Zeo. Who was in that? Oh, it was okay. Interesting. Huh. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, oh, is this is this what? What? Hold on, I'm getting break, breaking news. Breaking news. It's Mufasa's com uh com comedy uh skit time. Oh breaking no. Breaking news. Oh god. Oh. I do remember I you said you. you were gonna do that. You have been challenged. Breaking news, we were turning that into an improv, you fool. We were gonna improv something if we were gonna. Yeah, you're right, you're right. If you can come up with something interesting, we can try. Well, it's supposed to be Mufasa's joke of no, the... No, we already did that. That was last week, you fools. No, it's the, it's the newest segment of the podcast. Do your damn joke of the week. Here you go. Here's a joke. <laughs> That's great. Okay, anyway. Oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. You got, you got to get a picture of Duke Nukem, dude. You're fucking Duke Nukem. Uh, it's not even that good. You really want me to? Kong or just got his ass kicked. All right, I'll do it, but hang on. Let me find a Duke picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so fucking stupid. Uh, it's just funny, just that sitting there, just like. Uh, so, did you guys hear about that uh that new DC movie that's coming out? That's a Batman Superman team up. Oh God, really? Again, they team up a lot. Yeah, this one's gonna be a. Uh, Natural, like, cause, cause, let's see, DC's got a lot of movies coming out. They got obviously Amazing Spider-Man 2, Flash in 2000, like 16 or 15, The Anti-Man, uh, new, uh, new uh, X-Men movie, obviously the new Avengers. I get it. <laughs> a new Captain America. Wait, Brad, no. Thor, new Thor, new bat. Like I said, the Batman Superman team up and. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here. I'm here. I gotta, I gotta do it real quick before he goes pee. <clears throat> Condor just got his ass kicked. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. I'm going to shit down your neck. You've got balls. It's not as good as Dave's, but I think balls, I finally kind of got balls, something got going balls, on. Balls, 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 balls of steel. Balls Look of at Zio. He's fucking drawing. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I'm going to roll a joint with your hair and smoke it. Fucking Dave needs to have a picture up when he does impression. Dave too. needs to fuck off. <laughs> you, yourself. you lazy Canadian. And what the fuck are you laughing at, Chris? You son of a bitch. Steal of balls. You love my balls, 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 balls. I bet you they're fucking puny. Okay, I've, I've had enough of uh, curing his voice. I'm going to stop that now. I don't even have any voice impressions. I suck. Brad, at proceed to pee. <laughs> I don't want to pee now. Ah. You go pee. You pain in the butt. So, does anyone in the lovely audience have any questions for us? Let's do question hour. Let's see if anyone gives us any questions. You're not doing this for an hour. <laughs> God damn it, Zio. Damn it, Zio. You and Are that you still there? normal voice. Am I still there? Um, no. Please press no. Oh. So, is anyone interested in any other game that's coming out in soon this uh, month, or is this month kind of dead for games? I have no idea. I think this month is like pretty lame for games. Like the like yeah, I said, this theme. There's nothing coming out that I'm interested in. <laughs> like I don't know. I really didn't see too much. So. It should be interesting to wait and see what comes out.
Still waiting to see what Zeo is drawing. Please hold while we wait for Zeo. I personally think Dave should title this podcast "The Interns Take Over." Yeah, the interns take over. Wow, we've already <laughs> done that. We're already, away is a this lot. good? Uh, I again, I suck at drawing or you, but this is mostly because it's not a three. I don't know yes. if we can get a focus on Zeo or not, but. Hadouken. Well, uh, the one talking currently, it should be focused on me, so. I'm gonna sit here and quickly talk so it can be zoomed on me and see here. I tried to draw Ryu. I'm not really good at drawing Ryu on a 3D, but it's also it's also my first time drawing Ryu. I'm draw, I'm confident at drawing Mario though, so that Wait, was. You that drew was, that on the 3DS? Uh, well, not 3DS. I meant the Wii U, the gamepad. Oh, I'm to say. <laughs> the gamepad. My bad. That came out really good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we finally got that. Um. Do we have anything else major to talk about? No. Uh, not, nothing at all, actually. Honestly, I'm at a loss, because I'm surprised we've even gone this long. Yes. Yeah, I, I know. I, that's oh, weird. That we actually we... kept a pretty solid conversation going for a time. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, really yeah, which we never do. I guess, this, I guess that... this podcast will be known as the Fighting Game Podcast or something. I, yeah, like... I don't think do, 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 do. Fight! No, Zeal. Fuse 4 loves to fight. Okay. My name guys, is uh, Finley, and I love to fight. Did you guys hear about the tornado warning we got here in Canada? Yeah. Oh, Another yeah, one. Yeah. I got, I got thunder. I got like yeah. very huge thunderstorms today. I, I swear yeah, to God. We, got, we, got, we had them like most bipolar weather that I've ever had in my. Oh, Same we, here. yeah, I've seen it. it Rains for five oh, minutes yeah. and then fucking sunny again. Yeah. I was fucking raging. I was like, okay, so it goes from sunny and then. <laughs> It's raining. Working in a bottle or redemption center sunny. and that kind of heat it's is raining. the worst fucking thing. And then it's dusk out, and then it fucking starts pouring, and then goes back to sunny. I'm like, holy shit. Hey, power went out at work uh, for me for work for like five seconds. It was interesting hearing people like, oh my god, for like two seconds, and then okay. The power Who went remembers out. this in school? If you when you're in school, um, the power goes out, everybody's like, yay. Yeah, yay. And it goes back on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We used to say that all the time. I remember that shit. I don't remember anything like that. God Zio, damn it. man, you got some bags under your eyes, dog. He has more bags than bags huh? than bags. He, you have bags under your eyes. You fucking tired. Boy, you tired. You fucking I'm not tired. tired. Bullshit. But that's just how my eyes permanently look. They always look Mine like, are like that. They too always look like I'm tired. They always look tired. That's why I wear glasses a lot. Because I, I always look like I'm tired. I wear my um, it, from the signs of it, we're about ready to wrap things up. So I think it's time for the yeah. what they call the pimping process. So let's start with our dear friend Bradley on the on the left hand side there. Um, well, you can find me probably laying in my bed, not giving a fuck. No, I'm just kidding. You can actually find me on youtubecom slash master 102 You can find me on Twitter at Brad in the Lost World. You can also find me on Facebook slash Moogle Master 102. That's my Facebook fan page. And Hector looks like fucking some kind of like business worker. You can call me Swagmaster 506. You got it. Where's your suit? You gotta wear a suit now because you're gonna look like that dude from Men in Black. No, oh, God. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Chris will pimp his uh, shit if Brad is done. You can also find me on Steam. I've uh, I've never mentioned this, but you can actually find me on Steam slash Moogle Master 102. Um, or you can look up Dimitri Maximoff, which that's my name on Steam. But yes, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Chris! Okay, I'll right, pimp Chris myself out. You can find me anywhere and everywhere that has Mufasa Fernando in it, because that's most likely me, because I'm the only one and only Mufasa Fernando, so thank you very much, I said this so fast, I don't care, god damn it, look at you, now he's pimping. Now it's time for Hector. Oh my god. Yo, they call me Swagmaster502. Oh my god. <laughs> he's shirtless under that. Yeah. We got a couple you know, badges here, you know. I thought you were going to flash your nipples. <laughs> 
Bubba will what? Your bar was in the way. You were censored. I know. I know. That was the point. Oh. Just, don't, just don't try the same thing with your dick. Are you still there? Are you still here? <coughs> oh, no, okay. heck no. Okay. All right. So, in reality, you know, my name is Hector, the Moose, the moose Hero Man Gutierrez. I'm, I'm gonna um, laugh when your sergeant walks in and he's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Nah, they got they got a knock or ring the door. Are you gay stripping again? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. In, in basic training, we actually used to uh, like just chill in our boxers, put on our beret, and hold our two M16s and used to run around like that all the time. <laughs> it was you the best. They were just taking they were just taking picture of you for a calendar, you know. <laughs> no, well, well, they, they we, yeah, whatever. Mr. December. But uh, you can find me at twitch dot uh, twitch TV slash moose ninety four, youtube dot com slash hero ninety four, or on Twitter. You fucking raver. At hero ninety four. Um, expect. I'm actually uploading some some videos like in like an hour from now. So. Woo. Off to Zio. <laughs> off to Zio. Off to Twitter. Uh, <laughs> fucking Sean. Zio art is terrible. Shit, fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Let's do OMG pop after this. Okay, okay. Keep I'll going. go last, so you go ahead, Zio. Zio, go uh, ahead. Wait, uh, wait, uh, hold on, hold on. You want me to go? Yes. Uh, oh, the person behind wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can, can we pause that for a second? <laughs> Hit the pause right there. Oh, Hector, no. You look like a <laughs> Chippendale. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But uh, a serious note. Look at that boy. Taking off his right. shirt. You can bring cheese off that shit. Uh, you can find me. I want to be. On, I want to be a little more business casual. Twitch TV. You find me on Twitch TV, Tumblr, Twitter, DeviantArt, Game Anyone, Google Plus, uh, Ask.fme, Ask.me, um, uh, MySpace. Meverse and YouTube, all under the name Zeo Lightning. Who the fuck uses uh, MySpace? Okay, moving on. I said Meverse. Oh, I thought yeah, you said dumbass. MySpace. Like, who the hell uses MySpace, MySpace? from Meverse? What? Meverse is uh, MySpace completely died and run. Let me end the stream off with one more thing. Oh, that was a terrible fart. Damn it, oh, baby. It yet. I'm not even ending it yet, you fool, but go ahead, Tyler. I said I was going last, Brad, you douche. Wait, what's wrong with me? So, uh, Esther uh, posts his channel, which is uh, Spitzerblade13. I'm trying to get it back. I told you to shut the fuck up about that, Zio. <laughs> he won't. I, I was going, I was he going will to end never it with a stop. Part, but it was Tyler, a very you bad should know that. He shouldn't. He's never gonna stop. I know Again, it's not. the last joke I have since Mufasa actually does make and videos Dave now. And Macaulay.com is no longer anything relevant. Yeah, that is. Uh, right. I used to love that joke, Dave Macaulay.com. If you, you can, go check uh, that out. You can find me on my channel, youtubecom slash 800 subscribers today. Pretty fucking proud, to be honest. I'm happy. Woo! -hoo! Let's okay, get everybody you up to, go unsubscribe let's, now. Let's, let's get you up to a thousand by was, the end of the summer. Let's do it, waiting, guys. I was actually waiting to like lose like five subscribers after reaching 800, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> yeah, because you right ever notice that? Like, like yeah. you reach a milestone and then you you get you head back hey, for like a couple. That's why I said my milestone seconds. is I reached it, not that I maintained it. No, 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 Spence. My, I remember when I got I got to 100 subscribers and it dropped to 92 or 97. I remember. I, remember. I was like, what? And you were like, fuck. And then here's my yeah. Twitter, Fuse for Spence. Uh, ask dot me slash Fuse for Spence. Ask me a question because nobody else does. Um, no one cares. Fuck you. I, uh, mean, I love you. Fuse for Spence. Uh, Son of a Soldier 13 on Steam. I think that's it for me. And since uh, Dave, actually, he's not going to be back, I guess. So I'm going to pimp his shit out for him. Which, if you're watching this right now, you're on his channel, Fuse for Gaming. But check it out anyway if you're not. And uh, check him out on Twitter, Dave McCauley. It's all going to be in the description, like he says, anyway, because he's too lazy to pimp his shit on his own. But, um, also, go to DaveMcCauley.com just to go like his Twitter. I think that is his yeah, this is his Twitter now. So, so, so be like, be like, DaveMcCauley.com. Just tweet him that. Then he'll, he'll know. He'll know. 
do it. And I think besides anything else, just check out our, our blog, fuseforblog.com. Check out, uh, send us emails, fans at fusefornetwork.com, all that shit. You can check and out our remember, Tumblr, fuseforenetwork. Uh, Tumblr. We were, uh, this podcast was brought to you by a certain sponsor. Go Daddy. Go. Ghost Dad. Oh. <laughs> Ghost Dad. Go. Go. You go Daddy. PopDaddy.com. Yeah, I'm halfway expect a date pop out of nowhere. Shout outs to our sponsors. Shout outs. Yeah, to we're, like, we're not. Like, we're like, not. I have a question. I have a serious question. How are we going to end the podcast if Dave's the one broadcasting? Somehow I think it'll just be magical. But Very um, carefully. I'm, I want to. You need to learn how to read chats. When's mouth? <laughs> But remember, this was brought to you by GoDaddy. Use the promotional code FUSE4. Ends in 10 days, so do it now. And we're saying 50% um, off. Do it now. And Save pretty much if anything else, without, without anything else, for all these guys, for uh, Brad, Mufasa, Dave, Hector, and Zio, I'm Spence, and this was FUSE4 Network Podcast, episode number 18. We will see you guys next week, same time, same place. Swagmaster. Yeah. See ya.